Hey, Bosco. Oh. Why did the chicken cross the road? Good Bosco. opening. Bosco, why did the chicken <laughs> Good cross intro, the guys. road? <laughs> wow, really solid. 10 out of 10, can I say? No, but why did the chicken cross the road? Because you're bad, Taka. No, I, for, I don't know. I forgot. All right, guys. <laughs> well, welcome to the most comedic D&D show on the planet. Yep, yeah, that's that was, us. That, We're that, very that. funny and all of our jokes land. So, guys, you're here to find out why. <laughs> why I'm listed as a team four-star writer. <laughs> that says, is quality stuff like this. Um, George joined Ooh. by Bakamitai Distortion Devil. Bakamitai. A uh, funny. <laughs> where can they where can they find you just shoving that meme into the dirt? Uh well. You can find me uh shoving that meme into the dirt <laughs> over on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil. Uh <laughs> For stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, not going to go into depth of what I'm doing this week uh, because I need to make room for some information about none other than Dead House Sonata because uh, we are doing something very special. Uh, I'm pulling up documents as we speak for information <laughs> on a very special September subathon. Dead House Sonata Founders Pack giveaway that we're doing for the entirety of September for every 15 subscribers that myself, Varric Keldoon, Sailor Midgard, Faceless Mike, Calypso694, and Gaia Green get on their Twitch channels. They'll be giving away, we'll all each individually be giving away one Founders Pack. Oh, to, some, to some very lucky people, and that's endlessly. Mm. By the way, if 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 there are two hundred twenty new subscribers on our streams, we're giving away fifteen founders packs. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be crazy. Please drop by each of those uh, <coughs> Twitch channels that I just described. Uh, but if you want to head start, and if you want to secure your spot among the legions of the damned, then please follow that link I just posted in the chat to purchase a founders pack for yourselves. Gain early access to this wonderful game. And that's me. Guys, you Goomba! Oh, yeah. guys, you Goomba, where can they find you aside from content with many amounts of wonderful Japanese-themed video games? Um, Well, that's probably going to be happening this weekend. But, uh, yeah. talk. I want you to know I love you, buddy. Whoa, whoa, why? why? What would I do? Why because, what I do? Because, because every time I mean to you, I have to be nice to balance it all out. Why were you? No, you were you <laughs> what the fuck? See, 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 Zito's got it. Zito got oh, it. That was a good one. That's that. That is mm. not true at all. Mm. This, That's this, the guy just heard the whole entirety of New York just come out of Zito in that one second. <laughs> That's amazing. He was anyway. simultaneously walking here and driving there. You can find me at Twitch. That's you guys guys in Goomba. Uh, <laughs> Saturday is conveniently my birthday, y'all. So oh, I won't be doing birthday ah, streams. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. I just want to do a shit ton of games that I like because I need to do that more. I am also officially starting tomorrow on break. I am not doing any YouTube content whatsoever because I have lots of self-evaluation to do. Uh, however, I will be continuously streaming uh normal times i will also be doing uh regular D, &D streams i'm not going anywhere from that um yeah. i do have a new video coming out tomorrow it's 20 minutes long and i'm glad it's done uh just basically talking about why ghost of shima really is probably the best japanese game that's really out there despite not being made in japan which there's going to be all kinds of quote-unquote discussions going on with that, but I stand by what I say. <coughs> hmm? Awesome. Uh, that's me. Zito. Oh, God, yeah. Did you call the stream marvelous? It didn't happen so, yet. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm just, I got Bakumitai stuck in my head. Fucks. I just... <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> it's Connor fine. just... Inf Connor oh, just, oh, in oh, Connor oh, just oh, injected oh, it into oh, my oh, brain. Oh, <laughs> wow, I'm hold on. Wow. I'm sorry. The chat just fucking exploded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wu, yeah Wu, I know. Wu Kong does that. Okay. I'm a fan of my laptop is about to go ape here. V E A T M Sun Wu Kong. Yes, yeah, Wu Kong. Oh, yeah. 13. 
He's we will. Boy. We will. We don't. Do not worry. We will get to to that. That son of a son of a gun. Look, look, Ijin, huh? I just I just want to say for one that I am extremely happy that you are going to be playing a bunch of games that you like because I know how hard you work on your YouTube stuff, mm-hmm. and I'm really excited that you're going to take some you time because you deserve it and you should play things that you love and keep doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Zeno, where can they find you? Oh, uh, you know, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and the Ever Ringgit Almanac on Patreon. Uh, speaking of Wukong, the Hanu are actually almost near complete. Uh, I, I kind of kept that close to my chest and, like, didn't talk about it for a good long while because I wanted to keep it a surprise. So that'll be coming out relatively soon. It has way more content than I actually envisioned it was going to initially. Uh, secondly... Gaijin Goomba, I now know that it is your birth miss coming soon. I'm yeah. gonna have to, I'm gonna have to at least buy you a video uh, game, get you uh, uh, have Casey get you that banana ice cream you really like, or yeah. or something of that uh, something of that nature. Like just go out and buy you something because Saturday, oh man, uh, it's gonna be jam packed for me now because Saturday Sage 2020 comes out. That is the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog fan game. Uh, uh, game jam that happens every year and this year it has way more original indie stuff and i am so fucking jazzed to play it it might be a long it might be a saturday and sunday affair it might be the stream might go extra long because oh man that that sounds like stupid fun and i want to i just want in i want to play all the cool is, video games that all these is, people are making uh, is that what you were showing off prior to one of the the crat streams like two weeks ago yes that was okay. the that that entire trailer that I showed off, that was the Sage 2020 trailer, and that was all the stuff they only got submitted to them at that juncture, which was like a month and a half uh, ago. Okay, gotcha. So there was 200 games. Now there might be like 350 plus. Good luck with that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. Monty, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, and you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue uh tomorrow we're gonna be playing more devil may cry i got really ragey <laughs> if anyone so mad. i got so mad what game were you playing devil may cry 3 mm, what boss uh beowulf <laughs> oh good Did virgil you mean the was fine boss in the game virgil virgil's whatever beowulf was the camera was my enemy not beowulf beowulf was fine the camera was not fine it was like I was getting whiplash, and then I had to do Mission 15 on top of that. Oh, uh, Mission Mission 15 is not only the worst in that game, it's the worst in the entire series. And I'm still in it. So next time we play, I'm going to switch the, the mode to easy, because just, I, I give up. I also have some things I want you to try, just, just to help improve your experience for next time. Is it, is it deep breathing exercises? Because I tried that already. Is it performing its enhancing <laughs> drugs? <laughs> Is it? Um, hmm. but that's that's tomorrow. Uh, I think we're gonna try and beat the game tomorrow. Uh, that is the goal: is to beat Devil May Cry three, and then we're yeah. gonna move on to Devil May Cry four. Um, mm-hmm. so that's gonna be the whole lot of fun. I mean, people were scared when I was fighting Beowulf because I was dead quiet, and then I would die, and then I would slam something and then go back and just fight him again because <laughs> I couldn't yeah. leave. I was so close to rage quitting at one point, I, but I I stuck with it. I will uh, say, it sounds like Devil May Cry three. Yeah, that sounds like um, that sounds like me and uh, the Samurai Jack game last weekend. I legitimately like the first game. I really liked Solid Seven out of ten. This one, three out of three out of ten. Oh, of that's ten. rough. Um, but we'll see how four goes because four four's camera is better. I'm probably gonna have a better time. Um, I have things but, I want to say, but it's your opinion, so I'm not <laughs> going to say anything. I know, I know. Um, also, it's like not a game I'm used to playing. To be fair to enough. be fair. fair um, so that's tomorrow. Um, but the big one uh, is Sunday. We started out Final Fantasy IX, and it was a blast. It was so much fun. We had a lot of people there. It was really exciting. We had Team VVT Steiner going at it. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, you have a good stream when your father texts you, going, "Are you are you streaming or are you okay?" And it's just like, "I'm I'm okay." <laughs> <laughs> I had to do a lot of yelling because Dad Dad, of- Dad checks on you. Oh, I never did with me. Yeah, he checks on me, makes sure I'm okay. <laughs> um, there's a lot of screaming in the first part of the game because, you know, stuff happens, things get intense. But 
uh, we're in it and it's really, really good. And it's a really, really nice playthrough. I'm also using a guide so we don't get stuck or get trapped at any point. And yeah. Nadine, so, I need to, I need to ask you something. Uh, uh -huh. People have been going, coming into my stream and asking why I'm a Moogle. I would like to know why this has bled over to me, Nadine. Why uh, do they so, think I'm a Moogle? There, there is. We met two Moogles. Moogles are how you save in that game. They have, they have cute little Moogle names. One's name was Mosco, which is Bosco but with an M. Um, <laughs> and there is another one named Monty. And when Monty, I knew about Monty because of of Brian. Um, so when it was revealed that I was a Moogle, I was like, I fooled everybody. I am a Woogle. I've been a Moogle this whole time. So you're now a Moogle by proxy because we're related. So you have to be a Moogle oh, too. Damn it! Which side of the yeah. family did you get that from? Mom or dad? Uh, <laughs> probably dad. Probably dead. <laughs> Ashamed of their Moogle past. All right. Um, but yeah, that's Koopo. where you can find me. And then, uh, uh, what are you doing down there, Koopo? <laughs> <laughs> I got Koopo in the morning! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I have a few other little personal updates, but I'll save that for later. I bought a face. That's going to be fun. I'm excited for Ed, that. Uh, 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 <laughs> you, dropped, you dropped your face. <laughs> I'll get you a new one. Edward Mosco, where can they find you? <laughs> They can find me at twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco and on Twitter and Instagram at Ed Bosco VA Coupo. Mm. <laughs> it's great to hear Coupo. Uh, Anything yeah, else? Uh, but they, they already know what I do. So uh, two quick things that I want to tell everybody. I mentioned this last, the last couple of weeks uh, on September 17th, which is the air date of the original G1 Transformers back in the 80s. For all of you kids that were born in the 2000s, y'all going to learn. But I got a bunch of the voice actors from the new show together, and on that particular day, we are going to be coming together to do some commentary on the first six episodes of the new Transformers War for Cybertron Siege that came out on Netflix. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm trying to get some stuff to give away. And I've also decided I was trying to figure out what charity to uh, give all the proceeds to because it wouldn't feel right to keep the money from that. Probably going to do something for Black Lives Matter, so I'm looking into where to send that. And this weekend, I just got asked to do a charity stream for – Hurricane relief for Laura, which is currently tearing up the uh, the South. So I don't know exactly what day or what channel, but I will keep you guys posted. But hopefully I'm able to help out with that. So, yeah, charity all around. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101 where uh, I've made a decision, guys. Um, every Tuesday starting at 12 o'clock, I'm going to be playing Alan Wake. I'm That's so right. Sorry. No, um, hey, hey. Hey, I'll have you know the Alan Wakeverse is an ever expanding canon. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so Alan Wake and Quantum <laughs> Break, as it were. Alan, Alan, Alan Wake. It's Alan Wake, Alan Wake DLC, Alan Wake American Nightmare. Don't worry about it. Uh, then there's Gravity. No, wait, no. Uh, Quantum Break, which I don't know, maybe it's in the yeah. same universe. But then yeah. there's Control, and then there's Control featuring Alan Wake. <laughs> so we're gonna get to it. What? <laughs> What's Alan Wake? I'm, I, I, maybe I'm getting. Alan it. Wake is. I don't know what to do. It's, a, it's, a, it's really a, it's really a one of a. Oh, this is it's, it's, there's something about having a weird mystery in the middle of a town in the woods. It, 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 like it, the seconds is even a little bit like Twin Peaks. It's fucking weird. Like even a little bit. It's diet. It it's it's diet Doctor Dresden Files. Man, oh, my God. God. No, is no, that, no. Okay, you remember, is that the game where you got like a giant flashlight? You know, you know, you know like... deadly. You know deadly premonition. Yes. Okay, but that that but imagine they made it for thirteen year olds. Oh great. <laughs> great. Yeah, I'm all into it now. Ooh. Oh I know. I remember right? when that game came out. I remember playing the oh, demo for it. God. God. It was a while ago. <laughs> it's uh it, it is it's 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 Stephen King the video game. So I'm gotcha. gonna be playing that every uh every uh Tuesday over on my channel. I'm actually gonna be getting a proper uh schedule uh out as well the next week or two. Uh I'm excited. And yeah, this week I'm going to be throwing down a city skylines. We're always very Zen Loki energy, Sea of Thieves, and of course tomorrow night wrestling starting at 4:30 PST. All righty. I want to stream World of Warcraft, but I'm worried that everyone's going to see that I click on my abilities. Oh, the oh. D for what it's worth, when I was streaming it, they they only made fun of me a third of the time. Okay. Well, <laughs> you, you need you need a you wow, need a more than six the that you're a clicker. I'm sorry. Oh, there's what? so many. There's what so many. Yeah, brother, there's get so many... the heavy frame up. There's so okay. many buttons. There anyway, are... that's why you mapped right, to a mouse. I gotta I gotta run through all these wonderful submit. Oh, 
subscriptions and bits. I, I'm going to have to. Okay, so I'm going to have to go through all this here. Dang it! I got a love stream. You probably lab. can't read. You probably can't read comments. You'll probably just have to read names off. Because we yeah, Blue pleasure. Ender sixty four. That art Jack. Thank you so much. Astro Machine, Mister ninety nine nine Pancakes, Puppet Fan, gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much to Puppet Fan. I make things up. That's a name, not I didn't actually do that. Gifting five subs as well. Thank you so much. Do I make things up? Dezib91, Bizarre Coyote. Thank you so much. Uh, Argent Lyal13 with 10 subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much to Argent Lyal13. Mr. Wilhelm, Hyro, Gaddix, Pun, Bot01, Crazy Meta, Strong Glad2220, Mud Martin. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. ETM Song Wukong dropping. Guess what? Song Wukong, the 13th, dropping 50 subs. To the gosh Whoa. dang community. That's Ooh. almost as many transformations as he has. That's a lot of transformations. But thank you so much to ETM So Wukong for dropping them 50. 50. Subs to the community. My God. Um, uh, Streamlabs has destroyed some of those wonderful bit drops we had. So I don't know if there was a message attached to them. So I'll, when we. Well, we are we'll not reading out messages. We have to, we have to go. Uh, you know, have, you know, 97. Minutes. Uh, Nene 2021, Greasy X Spoon, the Emperor Penguin Kind, two kobolds on a coat, Raptor 6893, Sozo Iasu, Sensinfo, Yuki Usagi, Pasta Parade. Thank you all for the subs. I want to thank Lord Phantasma for the 5,000 bits. No message, just bits. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Taylor 182, Windy Go Go, Shiny the Kenku. Thank you so much as well. I want to thank Mary Alice, River AT 8855, Shiny the Kenku, and Bat Card 20 for the bits. I appreciate that so much, Lord Phantasma, again for the 5,000 bits. Thank you so much freaking mush. Ashandari010 with 2,500 bits. Woohoo! Thank you very much. Uh, the Spoon Pie Rounded Disco Tech Priest. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the bits. Uh, Junior Mock and Ross75 Wilder41. Da Spoon Alucard True5 Shaggy952 and Coop894. Thank you so much for the subs as well as our Fox Blood. Appreciate that. Moneymaker underscore two underscore Zero with 10,000 bits. Love you guys. Keep on going. Question, what do you recommend doing if you have a player who's been causing the campaign to slow down or work against competing a task that is key to the moving the campaign along? I will, I will be really quick uh, and answer that. Talk to them. That's the easiest yeah, thing you can do. Yeah, just talk to the player. Yeah. Just be like, yep. hey, you're doing this. It's causing these problems. Can we come to a, like a like a solution? Yep. If you yeah. can't, if you can't reach your resolution, it. just they're not, they're not meant for your group then. Yep. Yeah. Uh, at least Mark, talk to them and you'll figure that out. Mark yeah, underscore yeah, Wolf. Thank you for the five subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much to Mark Wolf. That's very kind of you. Moneymaker20. Thank you again. But Spud 3226 Thank you so much for the sub as well. I would like to thank Improved oh, Furball. Shoot. We lost your message. I want to thank Probate as well. Thank you so much to Improved Furball and Probate for both dropping 10,000 bits, guys. <laughs> Hell yeah, that is crazy. Kind of you, Shad Dotty, Nackley, Polly, Ebon Sky, Real Meta, Ashandari, 010, Blackfoot, Ferret with the Leap Bits. Goodness me, guys. Thank you all for the bits. And again, a big thank you to Improved Furball, Probate, Moneymaker20, and Lord Phantasma. A great appreciation to all of you for dropping those. Uh, are we good to go, Monty, or do you need a few more I minutes? forgot to write an introduction. I completely oh like Oh, my God. That. Then well. I can write that. You know what? I'm going to open the floor to wild accusations. No, I can do it <laughs> improv. I can do it when improv. When last we it. left our heroes. Well, when last <laughs> we left the Cobalt let, let Ranger, let... Borky the Orc Barbarian, Task the Cobalt Ranger, and Borky the Orc Barbarian. Were they they, all... I, I have to say, by the way, can I just make a note that we have over 84 pages of introductions for this show that I have oh, collected God. over the years. There you go. Oh, that's, that's a short story. It is. It sure is. <laughs> um, all righty. I'm, I'm just going to improv this uh, improv this one for the first time because that's Ooh, it's going to be amazing. Here we go. Um, so when I have to say well, one wait, thing. Wait, okay, Nadine, Nadine, just change mm -hmm. Panic's name to Panic instead of Blanick. That's going to mess it up. Well, I was going to say I was going to do Greckles the Greckles Rogue because I've done that yeah, before. There we and go. I've, oh, I've been reading. Rogue. I actually did that a couple times. Um, Wasn't there like Grankles or something like that? <laughs> I, this or something? Because, because I've, I've added it to the dictionary, it doesn't like autocorrect if I mistype it anymore for some reason. So I get random <laughs> oh, things. It was, it was Geckles. <laughs> It was geckles. Beckles. I've had geckles. I've had freckles. I've had all kinds of stuff. It's been a delight. Um, which is very weird because, like, other names, it doesn't like Borky, it doesn't care. And, but in Greckles, it has issues. So there you go. Thanks, Google. All right. Some chaos. So 
When last we left our heroes, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Remy the Kenku Fighter, Greckles the Greckles Rogue, uh, Borky the Orc Barbarian, and Task the Cobalt Fighter, the party went on a long venture. <laughs> <laughs> he really is it. a fighter in a lot of ways, you know. Oh, He's like a fighting against his demon. <laughs> Dude, I'm my own and class. Ranger. That's awesome. Shut up. Shut up. I'm, this is why I'm I gonna throw it. hands. <laughs> Shut up. I gotta write. Stop. Well, hold on. This. Hold on. No, no. The hold on. I, I, I no, I, I, Kurt. I, I, Kurt. I need. I need to do the introduction. That's how I know. Okay. 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 So, okay. Uh, the party went off on an individual adventure, delivering Yugu, a young yak folk, back to his family on the west northwestern mountains of Alabast. After traveling up a mountain, finding the long-lost body of a stone giant dreamwalker, fording through snow and sheer cliff and ice, and fighting with three reasonably large remorazes, to which one switched, swallowed Borky and Panic promptly made it throw up, uh, the party managed to hide behind the body to avoid a avalanche. The party managed to reunite Yugu, the young 14-year-old yak boy, with his family, to which the party was gifted with a ceremonial horn as a gift and a show of honor and loyalty from the yak folk as they make their way back up the mountain. Uh, as the party travels back to Alabast, uh, you guys enjoy a week off of downtime, to which you had done a bunch of different activities. So I'll go through those now. Uh, Panic, you got your, your jacket upgraded. Uh, you went to nines. Uh, you upgraded your dragon coat jacket, your black scale dragon coat jacket with uh, an upgrade making it studded, studded leather. Um, yeah. Yeah, boy, get that AC studded, boost. Yeah, stud and studs, baby. Yeah. So the cost for that, because nothing in life is free. Mm -hmm. 600,000 gold pieces. That'll be 5 billion gold. You're an hour in debt. That's like half a chasery. That's going to be on Solly's tab. That's like half a chasery. That is half a chasery. Uh, Put it on House Corp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the one who's got the money. Yeah, now I have to really. pay off all my debt by being amazing. I can't believe I just pulled it off on my uh, That's going to be 450 gold pieces. 450? Yeah. Yikes! For yeah. for studded leather. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's nice. Yeah, you're adding zero to everything, so yeah. Yeah, that is zero to everything mm. in Alavast because the the money amounts are different. Yeah, so even right. Goblin concurs. Yeah, even Goblin agrees. Right when we start, of course. Even Goblin knows. Meow. All right. So inflation. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, actually, pretty nice. Uh, Leaves me with a nice even amount, actually. All right, we're good. Oh, good. There you go. I did you a favor, kind of. Um, <laughs> um, beyond that, um, you wanted to help out with the fundraiser concert with Helena, which is not going to happen, actually, for a while. Um, and you want to talk to Scarlet. Um, but you also wanted to look up the pol Periton political etiquette, to which both you and Remy were trying to find something, to which you have found none. Um, there Good are little, there are no Periton texts in Alabas. There's no way. Um, the bases you guys can with... both. Oh, the bases you guys could figure out is that not a lot of people go to Periton from Alabas for good reason. Hmm. Um, and anything to be traded would probably be in the nearby continents like Alton um, or uh, Turcadia. But even those are still quite remote. Um, and plus, those tend to be things that people aren't particularly interested in having um, <laughs> beyond things like historical tomes and uh, other such more useful things. So would unfortunately... Solly to, would Solly have been able to give us any insight, or was she too busy to even talk to? Solly's pretty busy. Um, generally, she just told you to, like, helmets off. Like, it's helmets off um, and don't stand in the shadows, essentially, is the best that she could give you. Okay. Um, uh, Panic looks to Remy and... It, <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Looks, panic looks to Remy and just says, you know what? I'm probably just going to stay quiet. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Mm. Uh, panic, do you want to find Scarlet? Yeah. And talk to her. <laughs> okay. Uh, so one of your days off, you head out to go find Scarlet. Um, and you do find her. Um, she's like playing with a bunch of kids on the street. You, you, go, to, you go to her house first, which has been promptly rebuilt. It's just unpainted. Mm. Um, 
uh, and Starlight directs you that she's playing with some of her her school friends uh, down at one of the kind of the cobblestone centers of the districts, um, specifically the middle 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 districts. Mm -hmm. um, and you do find her there. She's currently like playing hopstop, hopscotch and jacks with some kids um, of varying different races, dwarf and uh, elf and uh, uh, lizard folk. There's like a like a really small like you know how tiny like little little baby uh, leopard geckos are. Mm -hmm. Yes, like a tiny baby leopard gecko girl, like in like Aww. a pink dress. Aww. She's very cute. Giant eyes, that just like twinkle. A lollipop five times oh the size goodness. of herself. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no. exactly. Um, and then like a bunch of other kids of varying ages. Like the youngest is probably that little little lizard folk girl who's like maybe five or six, and the oldest is probably like thirteen, maybe. Uh, and they're all just kind of chasing each other and and running about. But you do see Scarlet there with them, and she's just kind of drawing out on chalk on the ground near the fountain. Is she, well, is she by herself right now, or is she playing with the other kids? She's playing with the other kids. Okay. I'll just go over to her. I'll uh, cast prestidigitation while she's looking on the ground. I'll, I'll, I'll write on the ground, hey, kiddo. She, like, kind of looks, like, a bit, like, huh? But then turns and sees you and kind of stands up and her arms kind of go lax against her side and she kind of just stares at you. All the other kids are, they don't really make mind of you. They don't notice you. Hey, kiddo. She kind of, her lips kind of twist up kind of in the sort of stubborn manner and she goes back down to drawing and she responds with, don't you have a mom to be hanging out with? I, I'll... I'll park myself down on the ground in front of her. Yeah, you kind of you sit on the edge of the fountain and just kind of look down as she's drawing. Uh, she's drawing like a really crude and since you know them, somewhat offensive depiction of a dragon. Um, it's <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of like cartoony and and it's like breathing on fire and and stuff like that. She just doesn't really look at you. She just keeps drawing. Are you mad at me? She kind of, like, stiffens, but keeps drawing. Scarlet. You know, I care about you, right? She you stops talk? and looks towards you. You can talk to me. Are you, if you're mad, if you're sad, if you're afraid. I just thought you and I were the same. We are, kid. But I'll, I'll pick up some, I'll, I'll, like, pick up one of her pieces of chalk and I'll start drawing along with her. But you're different. You got your mom back. Your real mom. That doesn't mean I still don't know what it's like. You know, I thought... I didn't have my mom for a long time growing up. I only just now found her. You're still so young. And that's not to say that you can't find your mom, too. I know I can't find my mom. You watch as her piece of chalk just snaps and breaks. You're mad at her, aren't you? No. She stands up and she sits on the fountain side. I made a new friend. Yeah? Mm hmm His name is Tiango. I met him before. Yeah, I know the one. He's like us, too. Yeah? Tiefling? And he doesn't have a mom, either. Hmm. She kind of, like, kicks her boots on the, the stone edge of the, uh, of the fountain where her, her legs are swinging. He said my mom's probably dead.
Um, can I insight her? Yeah, absolutely. I want to see if she believes that. Go right ahead. 19. Mm. Thank you, expertise. She does believe that. Um, and she doesn't seem like, like, she seems sad, but like she's kind of gone through the entire stages of grief and has kind of come to accept it. I'll, I'll put a hand on her shoulder. Tiango. No, you go ahead. Tiango told me that where we come from, people who give birth to people like us get punished. They die. She sort of curls his face up, not you like like sort of a wince like he knows. That's not always true. Well, in this case, it was. It certainly makes me know why my mom gave me to pirates. Yeah. I thought when I was living in Tracadia that my mom ran away from me because she didn't love me. She does. I'm sure your mom loved you too. Parents are weird. And I give her sort of like a knowing look. She nods, kind of smiling. Yeah. They do things and they don't know why and just kind of feel like they know, but it seems so stupid at the time, you know? Adults aren't as smart as they think they are. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth. But. Hmm. You, uh, don't have anything of your mother's, do you? She looks up, shakes her head. I remember we ran away. I was really young. It was hard to remember what happened. But one night she just grabbed me and we were running in the woods and there were people after us. We ran and ran for a long time, sleeping in the woods. No, I'll, I'll pull her, pull her close. We got to a, a dock place and she found someone to take me. I had to hide in some rope until she could find someone to take me. And I remember as she was taking me there, we were being chased and she threw me and I was caught before the ship took off. And I remember people taking her away. And I didn't know what was happening. I'm sorry, kid. She kind of leans back. <sighs> Tiango asks me if I'm when I'm older if I want to hurt those people. And hurt? I don't know. I understand if you do, but hurting people doesn't make you feel better. It doesn't bring people back. She kind of looks a little confused by that. Mm? Oh. Mm. But like, but like, not like towards what you're saying, just like like she's got like 
in like conflicting thoughts in her head. And she turns and goes, that's weird. That's not what Tiango said. Well, <laughs> Tiango is, uh, Tiango is strange. He it, he's lived a life where he only really knows how to do a couple of things, and he does them well. <laughs> she, she turns to you and kind of looks and goes, "What are those things?" Oh, you know. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Uh. Not the very nice things. Uh. She just kind of stares up at you, just kind of like looking kind of perplexed. Mm. 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 Uh, how, how did he, how did he find you again? I ran into him. Yeah? He was just walking around? Mm-hmm. He always looks like, and she kind of like takes her fingers and presses down her brows like really close to each other, like the sort of like really intense wrinkly face, like she's like, like pushing her fingers into her face and make it look very stern. Yeah, got this big scary face. I ran up and said hello, and I don't know, we just kept talking to each other. Yeah. He says he finds me fascinating. She has like an impression of him, but it's like really bad. <laughs> Her face turns into his for a second. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me a lot about my mom and where I came from. Yeah. What he did told he have me. To say? He told me about his mom and where he came mm. from. What is that? He said he came from islands near a country. Um, I don't have a world map. Uh, where would I know that's islands? Roll, I'm gonna say either no, yeah, roll knowledge history, just a straight knowledge history. Okay, here I go. Uh, 23. You recall the, um, the clerics of Orin who you had rescued mentioning the Red Death. Um, and through your memory, you realize that Tiango is from a place called the Sunlit Isles, which is a set of islands off of the coast of Periton. Oh, is that where the massacre happened? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he just kind of sucks in his lips a bit. Hmm. Nice and sunny over there. He said he liked it there. When he was younger, he was a lot like me. And mm. his mom was very nice. And they had to live far away from other people because the villages didn't like him, even though he never did anything wrong. <laughs> I don't know what that's like. She kind of like intertwines her fingers together and kind of presses the palms together and goes he said that one day when he was out getting firewood he came back home and his mom was gone and he followed markings on the ground to the village and she was she kind of looks stiffens quite heavily and sort of this pale face kind of comes in they oh, were bur burning like her back. he said they were burning her And in his mind, he she panic, panics brow sort of furrow, and he he looks angry. I asked him what he did. She kind of leans away from you and looks towards you, Tiengo. Yeah. He said, "A child that wasn't embraced by the village would burn it down to feel its warmth." And he didn't speak any more of it. Oh. Hmm. 
But she kind of looks around. That's a secret, okay? I didn't tell you. He nods really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> he he does like the, the zipper lips thing, like <laughs> complete with prestidigitation sound of a zipper. <laughs> I feel like Tiengo and I are more similar than you and I are now. But... Mm. It's because you're red, isn't it? Yeah, totally <laughs> red. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> she kind of points towards you. Eh, you're more of a pink, and I pinch your cheek. At, hey, she kind of waves <laughs> off. I am red, crimson red. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be big and muscly like him, too. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. So you're going to uh, give up playing the tuba to pursue a life of fighterism? She stops and she kind of like bites her knuckle and goes, can I do both? <laughs> Between you and me? And uh, he leans in. Uh, he, he does that thing where he, he like cups half of his mouth. Oh yeah, you can absolutely do both. Cool. I'm going to do both. Do you want to get a watermelon? Yeah. Can Let's get to it. You can take one home to your mom. Okay. Kind of takes your hand and leads you. All right. You know, if you ever want tuba lessons, you know, I could always available. She kind of looks at you and goes, you don't know how to play the tuba. No, not really. <laughs> she just keeps on. More, more of a woodwind than a brass kind of guy. Well, all right, we'll go ahead and stop there. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, that, was, that was an amazing fucking scene, you two. Well done. Hell yeah. Holy um, all right, that's gonna bring us around to task. You rent out a space to have Cold Blooded Club officially have its first convention. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty cool place. Zito? Yeah, I'm here. You rent out a space. You rent out the uh the temple of uh the temple, I believe, of Orthok to uh to have a cold blooded club with Naragan. Uh, Zotira, Arlo, Hasrod, um, a lot of the temple members, Iggy, like all of the, the reptilian dragon-like people you know. Uh, yeah. And you guys get like the Dixie Cups and like the punch that's probably really artificial, but you have your first official club meeting. Oh, dude, uh, fuck that. <laughs> Absolutely fuck that. Get the Dixie Cups. All right. <laughs> what time is it? Are the parents out? Good. I whip out my fucking <laughs> dice set. Let's play. Oh, fuck yeah. Hastride pulls out his own dice set. Go ahead and roll uh, two dice checks for me. Yo, we're, we're grambling tonight. I want everyone to have fun. Let's get the wine out and start grambling. You start bar hopping and doing gambling and everybody. Dude, fuck yes! <laughs> okay. Then roll three. So roll your first one. All right. Hold on. My page kind of like just wigged out a little bit. No worries. No worries. Doop, 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 doop. Core and dice set. Here we go. So you want three, yes? <laughs> so 18. So you play against Naragin and you, you, <laughs> the poor boy, uh, you flush him out for 200 gold. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. He's like, oh, curses. Ilune worshippers always warned me that gambling is a loser's game. And he watches as Athena looks, leans over and looks down and just shakes her head. And he's like, but honey, like, he's just like, sorry. Like, they just kind of, she looks very disappointedly at him as you, you sweep him out. I, I, I kind of like look, I kind of look at Athena and I just wink, I just wink at her. And I kind of like, I'm, a, I'm mentioning like I'm pocketing the money back into his, back at him. She gives like this nod and sips out of her Dixie cup uh, as you move on to the next bar. You hop like, like probably five or six different bars in, uh, in Alavas. You go to like. You go to dwarven bars, you go to halfling bars, which you are very highly recommended not to gamble in because halflings are dirty cheaters, as most people claim. Um, they're extremely lucky and they always tend to win. Um, you guys <laughs> even find a really tiny, like, gnome bar um, that, like, everyone is too drunk to care about non-gnomes coming in, and it is, like, horribly tiny and is totally a novelty. Uh, so go ahead and roll another gambling <laughs> check for the gnome bar. A gaming check? Yeah. Sure thing. 17. You actually lose money, buddy. Oh, well. Oh, As my controller drops around. You lose 100 gold pieces to a bunch of gnomes. 
Oh well. They they you win a couple you you win some money back, but then immediately you lose it again to the same guy. Um, and eventually you leave out there a hundred a hundred uh, a hundred gold lessered. Uh, Hastrod is smashed at this point. Um, a yeah. lot of people are getting absolutely crunk. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Zotira and Arlo, like, Zotira's had so many drinks, and Zotira's like, I, I do not understand. Like, she's so, like, confused why everyone else is acting silly, and she's just like, she's like, huh, like, totally uncertain of what's going on. Uh, eventually you guys are led to the Talentura bar, which essentially is, is Mr. Chance's Chance, which is a, which is a gambling... Yeah. Yes! Like gambling, casino, and, and drink place. Um, as you sit down, uh, at this point, Hostrad's like passed out on the ground and his snakes are all coiled around him. Uh, go ahead and roll a final gambling check for me. Here I go. 19. 19, okay. Ooh, buddy, I'm sorry. Uh, the people here are very, very esteemed gamblers, and a lot of them are telling Tura worshippers. You get cleaned out of. Uh, 90 gold, which isn't terrible, but you are only left with plus 10 gold by the end of the night before you have to, like, drag Hostrad back home. Oh, dude, it... this, that was fine. This was just fucking fun as hell. Hell yeah. <laughs> and literally, as, like, as Hostrad's being carried off by Zotir and Arlo, he's like, when are we doing it next week? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> he's just, like, totally gone. Like, absolutely gone. Uh, oh, the first may... night. That but Tash just like fucking grins at that. Well, first night was a little bit of a gambit, all things considered, but I'm open to see what you guys want to do. It's a gambit of gambling because you gambled. He kind of like pinches your cheeks with like his tan. And it's just like, <laughs> and you lost. That's life. You're a loser. <laughs> Loser Taz. I, 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 does he still have his cup in his hand? Yeah. Okay, I, I plugged the 10 gold into his cup. Shut up. My gold's wet now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Swim <Hit>. for it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, like, he like headbutts his Dixie cup and it just crunch <laughs> under his like, it's like, crunk. and he's like, uh, my eye, uh, and this is going to be our representative at the council one of these <laughs> days. Is. Oh, you guys God. gather yourselves and you guys head home. The following morning, uh, you do buy what you need to do. Uh, you get three healing potions from uh, Willow, which are new ones. I believe they are... Uh, Gaijin, you have them written down. It's... Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, they're it? higher um, healing ones. I don't have it. I don't have my book on uh, 18 I four plus 10? No, no, no. Um... You 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 had listed uh forty four plus five and three of them. I didn't know if those yeah. were yeah. just for me or for the whole party. That was you were given those. So um, oh. task it's forty four. Yep. Plus five because she's got plus max five. happiness. Excellent. Uh, and you get two of those. Healing. All right. Cool. That's good. Yeah. Um. But beyond that, you hang out with Naragan, um, and it's it's a really good time. You you hang out with a lot of people. Iggy makes something though. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah. Iggy's made something with um, the materials I gave him. With the materials you guys brought back from the Mountain of Repetition. <laughs> All the robot um, parts. He rolled really well. Uh, and he has created essentially a steel defender out of the parts. It <laughs> oh, freaks you. Oh it, my god! Panic! You kind of have a little bit of PTSD from your your being stabbed when you re-see the creature you've destroyed walking about the tavern. <laughs> uh, guys? No, panic! It's fine. Don't worry about it. Huh? Am I allowed to worry about it? Porky uh, no. his hand. No, you're okay. not Porky. Okay. Is this thing uh, it, is, it is cruder. The head was completely destroyed, so he had to remake the head. It's kind of got like a chameleon kind of look to it, like a dog mixed with a, ch a chameleon. Oh fuck! Yeah, it looks very intriguing. Um, pa Panic! You remember all those parts that we got uh, from the mountain, right? I am intimately familiar with some of them. He clutches his chest. <laughs> well, uh, I was able to give a large part of those over to Iggy, so now they're working for us now. Cool. Um, 
uh, just eyes following it as it walks around the bar. <laughs> uh, please tell me it's wearing and, like an and outfit the, and, and it, serving people drinks. No, and it's like walking just... like a dog. It's like seriously behaving like a dog right did, now. Did Iggy around. give it a name? Uh, Iggy has not named it. It's oh like boy. it's like Project Three Point Zero Point Zero One Four. Like it's something like that. Like it doesn't really oh, have no, a we name. Gotta, we gotta fix that. <laughs> Iggy's like Iggy's like looking at it. He goes, "This was a fine creation, a very fine creation. That was very difficult to attach the new parts with uh -huh. the old parts. The old parts were uh -huh. old, but that's fine." Are you sweating? You're trained? perspirating. You're wet. Do you need a towel? Perhaps I should make a thing that dispenses towel, or perhaps something that would warm towels. That would be a good idea. Something for warm towels for innkeepers, but that's more for things that are like spas. We don't really have a spa. Can we have a spa? Do we have a bath? We got a spa to the bath, maybe. I could do that. I could maybe look into putting a spa in the bath, but that would be We already have a spa, don't we? No. We do. No. I thought, oh, we have a bathhouse. You guys house. are trying to say, sounds like you guys are trying to say spa like spaghetti. Is it? Has it house trains? Kid, does it listen to us? Go ahead and attempt to command. Iggy kind of turns, like with both of his eyes. Like, he doesn't even turn his neck. Just both the eyes kind of <laughs> turn <laughs> towards. Uh, uh, hey. hey, you, uh, Steel Defender. It stops in place and turns towards you and slowly watches that long piercing rod comes out of its mouth and you're like, yeah. like, <laughs> don't kill me. Its face glows like green. And it goes back to its patrol, almost like a big daddy. It kind of moves around. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck, help. Uh, wait, hey, hang on, hang on. You, again. Turns again. Uh, hop up on that chair. It's kind of like a dog. It's it's quite big. This thing is about the size of, like, a, like a smaller panther. It jumps on top of the chair, and the chair kind of teeters a bit, but it sits on top of the chair, its tail kind of swishing side to side. Thus is the fate of all who defy Panic Grimtongue. Are you giving it a name? Kiwi walks uh, up and goes, That thing's weird! That's really weird! Yep. Hmm. What should we name it? That sounds like a good name. What? Weird. No. That's no. stupid. <laughs> Fuck you. I liked it. Fuck you! Kiwi, look Kiwi looks at you, Task. Uh... What should we call it? Hmm. Well, it nearly well, if you don't like that, call it Stab then, Panic. No, hey, hey, Connor. I kind, I kind of like Edge, but that's just me. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Yeah, please take that quote out of context. I kind of uh, like Edge. But that's I, I kind of like Edge. Oh, I'm resentful. I, I can't. I add, I'm resentful. I can't add anything onto that. Hey, Connor, can you, can you call it K nine thousand? K nine thousand? Yes. Mm. Bark, bark! No, he strokes he strokes his chin barbs. It's a little on the nose, don't you think? Well, here's the thing: if you if, so, like, can we use it for defense? How like, about the idea was to hopefully replace our nighttime guard for the sake okay, of okay, that's good. Mr. Okay, you gotta Nagy. think if it yeah if you yell out its name, it's gotta be something that takes the enemy by surprise because they won't expect you to yell out that name. It might give you like a second extra, and as we all know, in a fight, that's sometimes all it takes. Wait, 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 wait. We should let Naragan make the name. How about... Hmm. How about Stripe? Stripe. You know. Yeah, because it's, it's got sort of those folds. It kind of looks like it's got stripes on it. Why not call it Stripe? There's something that can it's, be kind it's of... Like, it's like Spot, but rebellious. <laughs> I kind of like stripes Panic with, that, with that S on the end. How Panic. about strike? Mm. I, I, how about pancake? You know what? I <laughs> I actually like pancake. You know, you know it know actually what? would help with its more intimidating demeanor. So we've got That's pancake and waffle. We've got pan. I see what you did there, Bucky. I see what you Yay. did. Pancake and waffle. Well, right. see, yeah. what, if, what if I told you that was an acid? Uh, I would believe you. I just I would really want you. pancakes right now. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Pancake it is, I think. Anybody else? I kind of liked the idea of calling him Kitty, because if you go out and say, hey, here, Kitty, 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 and this just giant death machine comes barreling at you. As you say that, uh, all of Helga's cats surround you, Gretel. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Goblin. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> There's ever a Goblin, time you Mr. Q. Yeah, I know, Mr. Q. Come on. 
Just, Gregor's just melted Damn on it. my lap right now. My goodness. Goblin's such a diva. She never works when she needs to. No. All right. So, uh, vote uh, all for Pancake. He raises sure. his hand. I yeah, raise you know. Hand. Uh, Greckles will actually raise it. Just it's fine. Iggy, Iggy raises his hand. <laughs> He right. looks up and goes, you're all weird, and goes back to serving drinks. <laughs> Steel you Defender? Steel Anyways. Defender. It is looking at you. It hasn't broken face contact. It has no eyes. It just looks at you. Your name is now Pancake. <laughs> Affirmative. Oh, God! Fuck? <laughs> okay, well. And it stands up and heads out the door and sits down. Oh, Wait, fuck. one more thing. Yes. Uh, what is... <laughs> what, what is two plus two? Two plus two is twenty-two. Oh, fuck. Right. Hey, hey, that's Pancake. One of two. That's true, technically. Hey, Pancake. Roll initiative. <laughs> I roll two attack the darkness. Yeah! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> is it more for real, doctors, or is it more tangential? Oh my god, he's an idiot. <laughs> All right, ab about your business, Pancake. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love every time. It, it, it grows on you, right? We got pancakes, waffles. Okay, okay. We're, we gotta Tap. name the next thing we get strawberry. Dude, dude, if someone ever like invades our house, oh. I've got a, t I've got a great one-liner. Should we wait for the one-liner, or should we hope no one breaks into our house? Hmm. <laughs> I'll, br I mean... I'll, br I'll write it down, I'll break it out, if that ever occurs. All right, keep it Again. in your back pocket. Uh, so, Task, uh, Iggy yeah. informed you during, uh, during Cold-Blooded Club. Uh, the Steel Defender can attack, um, however... It's its most useful ability is that it has a poison inside of that long prong thing where if it hits a target, it basically casts sleep on the target using that poison. Oh, good. Oh. So, Frank, so we can get the proper authorities in. It, it can mm -hmm. tranquilize someone, essentially, is what it's made for. That's so good! Yeah. Instead of casting death. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> like cast death. explosion. Non-lethal. <laughs> fireball. We already have that. It's called fireball. Ah, uh, yes, the non-lethal version of Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I like to um, fire this trebuchet shot non-lethal. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'm going to say this for everybody else. Um, there is the grand opening of Willow's shop. Yeah. Hey. Uh, Yay. Yeah. Willow's Wonders, which now has a sign, uh, had a grand opening uh, to which Remy was the special guest. Woohoo! Uh, representing Valithia. Um, there is, it's so cute. It's like not like a big party. It's like a little, like, there's like 30 people, maybe, if at all. And like a couple people stop just to watch the ceremony as it's happening. Um, but there is like a red ribbon and like giant scissors. Aww. Um, yeah. and like, and there's like a little cake that Ty Borkington made, and there's some like really, you know, cheap champagne that, that Helga was willing to part with. Um, as your employees and, uh, uh, the guards, all the guards, Doros's guards show up. Uh, including uh, Skull, that drow girl, uh, and Helena. Helena shows up, too. Um, and it's just a very gentle, like, Animal Crossing-style opening of something. Uh, oh, where that, means we can't, well, that means we can't fast chat through this? Damn it. Fuck. Nope. Are, there, are, there, are there party poppers, though? Uh, there are. There's confetti. Um... As uh, Willow, like, Willow was almost crying when she cuts the ribbon. You guys would know that this was Aww. one of her dreams. Oh, no, we got a special ribbon, what, Willow? <laughs> Very special. <laughs> uh, if there's, uh, if there, is there, like, a torch? Or, uh... Is there a torch? Yeah, there is a torch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming it's on the outside of the, of the, of the thing. Of it the, is, of yeah. Of the whole building. All right. Uh, if it's not lit, I'm going to light it. And then I'm going to cast Panic's Pyrotechnics. <laughs> Go ahead and click that spell for me. Yep. Uh, I'm making sure. I'm making sure every. I'm not going to set anything on fire. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna be honest. I'm, making, I'm making some fucking fireworks. <laughs> uh, There's a lot of attitude in your voice there, Connor. <laughs> the, uh, the target explodes with a dazzling display of colors. 
Each creature within 10 feet of the target must make a constitution saving throw. I'll make sure every. I invented the spell. I'll make sure everybody's far away from it. Uh -huh. look, look, you can try You can try and willow proof this, but willow still exists and she's accident prone. So I'm going to go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw. God Remember how damn many it. she almost died? She All right. Did. She manages to save because you rolled uh, a natural 18. All right. I'll just have, I'll have the fireworks from each of the torches go up into the air. <laughs> And it'll, it'll explode, and it'll say Willow's Potions, now open. <laughs> she manages to, like, dodge, like, Dark Souls roll out of the way before she gets hit <laughs> with the explosion. Um, but she's, like, covered in mud, and Duras is just kind of, like, kind of walks over and, like, helps clean her off. And she's like, oh, oh don't worry, I, I've got it. And she kind of presses digitations herself off. She turns towards you, Pan, and goes, that's very, very nice of you, Mr. Panic, but it's Willow's Wonders, not Potions. <laughs> I'll fire up another one. Oh no! All right. Uh, uh, I, 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 Mr. President, her so hard All right now. You're gonna take damage. Back then, into the dirt. Failed. That's not taking damage. It's too late. No. She's not taking oh, you're damage. Blinded. You are now blind. blind. President. You and Fine. you and you and you and Willow are blind for how long? Oh, like for uh, half a second. In a yeah. Shirt, yeah. Why? Yeah. Why you guys though? look. Stumble around blind, uh, uh, running into like the punch bowl table and knocking it over. I, I fucking use lesser restoration on both of them. <laughs> it's fucking a, it's six seconds. They're blind for six seconds. Yeah, but it's Willow who's blinded for six seconds. So. Yeah. <laughs> She'll fucking Hello. fall down the sewer next. I mean, unless Seriously, they do you this. Kill an NPC in six seconds. How did you manage? Um, but just try open. to be nice. <laughs> you guys drink <laughs> champagne. You guys enjoy slices of cake, and uh, the inside of the shop is very nice. It's a very tiny, like hole in the wall kind of place. Um, the fish is there as well. Willow Junior, as Perfect. thusly named by <laughs> my Doros and his Excellent. brilliant, brilliant brain. Do we have um, time? To, do we have time to shop? Uh, at the moment, what she would have given you is what she would have got, given you. Essentially, she's just got basic potions for right now. Um, unless there is something specifically you would want. I'm just curious um, what she has, like, in inventory to, like, spend gold on. Right now she has healing potions, water breathing potions, and anti-poison potions at the moment. She's got a very basic stock. Um, in terms of magical items, she's got, like, little, like, unconsequential things, like, uh, spell books that don't get wet, uh, candles that don't go out underwater, um, and, like, scrolls. She's got a lot of scrolls of various different spells available. Mostly level ones, because level ones don't take that long to produce, and they're <sighs> cheaper. So. How much are the water breathing and, and uh, poison resist? Poison resist for you guys is 50 gold each. And then water breathing? Water breathing is also 50 gold for you guys. Aw. Uh, let's see here. Um, all the shopping I did was already handled, right? I believe so, yes. Um, uh, if, 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 I can, if I can worm in a purchase, I'll take one of each. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Right off 100 cool. gold and take one of each. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Duros is the first customer, though. He, he is insistent. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, fill out the, fill out the customer review card, too. That fucking suck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's his wife! Willow's potions is really good. I really like it here. I bought a potion here. Four, the potion was four good. Point, 4. <laughs> 4.5 stars. The 4.5 is only because I didn't get this day. Monty. <laughs> the employees Monty. make me feel special. Monty. <laughs> yes. Does Willow have a scroll of catapult? She does, because she has that spell. How yes! much will she sell it for me? Uh, let me look up. Uh... You realize I have a scroll of that, right? <laughs> I also want one as well. Ah, I want... He wants his own. Oh, okay. I was like, do, do, you, do we need to catapult something, Chris? Um... <laughs> No, but I have plans in the future. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what you said about the rats. Oh, yes, shit. and look how well that turned out. We now have Did to hire know? mercenaries for cool things. Did it, Pink. though? <laughs> One second. I gotta find something here. Oh, God, this is incorrect. This is not what I'm looking for. My plans are foolproof. Don't ever quote me on that, but fuck you guys for not trusting me. So you need to get a, a, a scroll of catapult for Yeet and a, col uh, a scroll of true strike for Kobe. Pretty fucking much. That's true. Mm, so, looks, uh, it is a hundred gold for the catapult hands. scroll. Done! <laughs> uh, yeah, a hundred, a hundred gold for that one. Done! It's in. I, I, this is now mine. I own this. All right. Uh, well the done. saving throw for it, because I believe it has a saving throw involved. Um, it's going to be dexterity, but you need the saving throw because it's Willow's saving throw, essentially. Yeah. 
she probably needs to level up. Uh, the saving throw is uh, 15. Roll of catapult. Yeah. DC 15. Okay. DC 15 dex, yeah. Sick. Oh, oh yeah, she did level up. Never mind. She's I'm good. This is going to be fun now that we have somebody just doing all these scrolls and shit. I'm going to have oh, a yeah. blast here. You basically have access to Willow's spell list, essentially. Oh, oh. fucking Ooh. yes! Oh. Wait, what uh, the level is she? She is level seven. Oh! Now. oh. Wow. Yeah. Um, I can actually just tell you what spells she has. Sure. Please! Please do! Um, Hang on, I need to make a note of this shit. Hang on. All right. So, um, okay. She has Firebolt, Mage Hand, mm -hmm. uh, Prestigitation, Shocking Grass. Those are all our cantrips. She has Catapult, Find Familiar, Identify, Magic Missile, Shield, Unseen Servant, Arcane Lock, <laughs> Dark Vision, Enlarge, Reduce, Hold Person, Levitate, Dispel Magic, Fireball, Fly, Water Breathing, Faithful Hound, and Polymorph. Oh, she has Polymorph. Polymorph! Oh, magic. fuck! Oh, 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 sweetie, bless you. Fly, fly and polymorph. I love both of these things. Oh, I spell magic. Camera. I'm so happy someone has this. How much is how much is a fireball scroll? Uh, fireball. That's a third level. It's pretty pricey. Uh, I'm just curious. Uh, uh, Operation uh, Dino Drop 2.0. Well, um, that would be a spell scroll. Sorry, this is I just I closed everything because I thought. We so, were sorry, we, we, that we, was the fool's errand. You got us excited. I know I, I got you I'll excited. I'll go fuck myself then. Uh, it is. Uncommon. Fuck you, Connor. I'm just kidding. Come back. Uh, <laughs> you're looking at around uh 500. You're looking at 500 gold pieces. Okay. But it's uh, fireball. The original price would be 5,000, but because you guys are Willow's friend and you hired her on as your Woo! maid, it's 500. That's still pretty Base good. Price. Yeah. That's still really oh, fucking shit, good. Gives wholesale spells, nice. Yeah, no, this is fucking really good. Like, if if there's <laughs> a very specific, there's a very specific thing we're about to go do. This is infinitely helpful. Oh yeah. my goodness. Uh, her fourth to, level her spells, spells, which spell her fourth level spells, which are Faithful Hound and Polymorph, those are the big pricey ones. Mm -hmm. Oh like yeah, one, yeah, yeah. Like those ones, those ones are very expensive because they take the higher level the spell, the longer it takes to produce, and the more time she has to take out of her day to do it. So <laughs> yep. those are really expensive. Damn. If only yeah. we had like a spellcaster in the party or something, mm -hmm. right? Who knew, who knew polymorph? Man, I'm just a, I'm, I'm just, know, I'm man. just druid light. <laughs> oh, hey guys, I'm right here. Jeez. Hey. Oh yeah, dude, I'm ready to cast polymorph. <laughs> I, that freaks me out. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I will destroy oh. Remy. Remy will become oh. chicken. Um, all right. So Willow's potions opens without too much, well, as much as reasonable uh, amount of disturbances. <laughs> hey. um, and that will actually also gather you guys a bit of money. Not a lot, um, similar to your inn, but it will gather income to upgrade <laughs> the uh, sweet dragon further and make it better. I can't believe we... We christened Willow's Wonders with the first accident. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it wouldn't be what it wouldn't be Willow's Wonders if it wasn't accident prone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Should we All do right. insurance? D Doros waves his hand. He's already. I was about to say, already. what are you talking about? He's right there. I point over at Doros. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um. All right. So, uh, Borky. Do, 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 you look do, at do. some locations with Adric. Oh, can, can Remy join me? Sure. All right, as my co-investor, Mr. Carbo, it's imperative. Uh, imperaton? Imperaton, right? I, I'm a falcon, actually. Mm. It's imperative that you join me here, because I got to see where's the building's going to be at, so I know how to business it the best. Uh, have you happened to find a location you're interested in? Oh, that's actually where we're going today, Mr. Remy Corbo. We were meeting up with Adric Meadowmane. He um, spruced up the sweet dragon. Now, for the list of places, I said used is perfect, haunted if need be. Uh, what? <clears throat> uh, pardon me, Did you, you said haunted if need be. Oh, no, I figured haunted is cheaper because what with there being a permanent resident you can't get rid of, quite frankly. 
Remy's gonna pat him on the back. <laughs> All right. Fucking keep up, Bosco. Uh, I'm, I'm look. I'm, this, sometimes you just gotta have not have the last word. That was a good note. That was. I got nothing. <laughs> you guys for him. meet it with Adric. He has three places to show you. Uh, All right. One. One is a uh, a partially destroyed. Um, it was, probably was a candle shop of some sort. You're not sure. Some sort of artisan shop. Uh, Ooh, that so was. Is it one one or two floors? It, it's two floors. It's very small. Um, there's like a back area uh, for production, and then there's like a front area that's very tiny, kind of like Willow's store uh, for selling. Uh, and there's an upstairs just for storage. It's like an attic. What kind of damage? Uh, there's a giant hole in the roof. Uh, oh, that, no. that is mm. dragon sides, and also wherever this dragon landed, there's just a giant red stain on the ground. Oh, God. Mm. Well, it seems to be that there's issues with the roof. You, as you look up and see that part of the, one of the uh, pieces of tile just kind of falls into the into the inside and cr breaks on the floor. Mm. I, I'd say that's a, probably a good assessment. Uh, was the, the, old, the previous owner of this establishment lucky, or was, did, it, did it go down pretty much how I think it did? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Adric like, looks at Borky, the this giant... This CSI. Borky can put together what happened pretty easily here. Adric looks at the giant comedic splat mark on the ground and goes, I'm going to say he wasn't so lucky. Oh! My God, oh, I hope this isn't... Wait, I hope still there. Oh, God. I hope this isn't Task's blood. All right, how much do they want for the place that is You're the previous? You're in a you idiot! <laughs> uh, this Loud place neighbors. Is looking at, it's a very nice place. Obviously, it needs a little bit of work up. It's looking at it's like about 12,000 uh, gold pieces there. 12,000? 12, Before the fixtures, of course, which will cost you probably a little extra. 12,000? Hey, Monty. Was that, was that what they put in here before the hole showed up? Yes, go ahead, uh, Remy. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna ask. Uh, I, can Borky and I investigate the place to check for other problems with it to potentially? Sure. Well, we have to hire a house place. inspector, dude. Yes, I, exactly. Dude, I just went through this. <laughs> you have to hire my friend's dad because that's Gosh, what happened. No, it's just, it's just, it's just log wearing overalls. Like, god <laughs> damn it! We're, so we gotta, we gotta guarantee that paycheck for them. All right. Uh, all right, so is it okay if we look around, see if there's any reason why it shouldn't be God's, for the God's sake, $12,000? Uh, you can go ahead and take a look around. Just uh, mind your head. Yeah, okay, right. I will. Son of a bitch! Ow! All right, come on, perception. Go ahead and roll an investigation. This is an investigation. No! Okay. Yeah. Damn it! Not perception. Yeah, I know. I but I want to perceive the root. Fuck, okay. You're looking at it. You're investigating yeah, to make sure that it is structurally sound. Yeah. This is and the most invested. 14. Yeah, not terrible. Five. That's terrible. Uh, Borky, it is a very solid foundation. It's a very solid building. It is brand new. It just got a giant hole and probably someone died in here. Um, it's quaint. It's definitely the quaint, cute little artisan, like, um, what's the island um, in Vancouver that people go for, like, artisan goods? Granville. Granville Island. Yeah, it's, like, got a Granville Island energy to it. Mm. Um, what but is, it what is... What is the business next door? Uh, the business next door, uh, there is a gem cutter shop that's owned by a bunch of kobolds. Um, okay. It's like a gem shop. Uh, and then on the other side uh, is a like a jam and honey <coughs> shop. Oh, shit. There's jam and honey across the street. Oh, oh God. Oh, fuck. Uh, across oh, God. The, oh, fuck. <laughs> across the street... Uh, uh, it looks like there is a uh, like more of like a casual blacksmith, like someone who's making pots and pans and like kitchen knives and, and stuff like that. It's like kitchenware. Um, and then beside them is a fishmonger, and on the other side is like uh, like a another sort of like assorted wooden goods, like general goods sort of place. Mm. Kind of an all over the place area. Just like one place that also does food, and that would be the the jam, the jam, the jam place. All right, so, when you're looking at building around in sort of the general districts where you're going to get the most traffic, you're looking at many artisans in the area. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you looking for a place that's a bit more isolated? Well, I mean, I mean like strategically, it would allow for Tash to shoot from there if it ever came to that. <laughs> Right. Have you ever watched Star Trek: The Next Generation? He just did the 
the Picard face palm. <laughs> I'll oh. keep that in mind. Uh, all right, well, that's oh. all I got for today. No, uh, Dragon damage place, 12 out. Oh, by the way, this is just this is just House Hunters, by the way. So what we're really looking for is something within our realm, within our <laughs> limit. Um, really want it to be perfect for me. <laughs> he's a he's a barbarian orc war chief, and he's. <laughs> A Kanku knight from a country that was just freed from tyranny. They they have a budget of ten thousand gold pieces <laughs> and want to open a cheesery. And this <laughs> summer, the wacky antics never cease. This uh, summer, gonna... Rob Schneider, <laughs> the Rob Schneider is Borky the Yorkie. Um, dumb. Yeah, but I love it. Uh, Remy's gonna uh, motion for Borky to come over so he can talk to him privately. Uh, you also noticed the issues with the roof in this place? Uh, yes, <laughs> more than likely. <laughs> <laughs> strong building. That's a bit shit, don't you think? Uh, no, I think he's absolutely overcharging, considering there's probably a lot of real estate open mm -hmm. at the moment. Here's my question. What is this place worth to you? God damn it. God, God damn it, Remy. Why are you asking the questions that are going to take me all day? No, I, just... He wants 12,000 if you're going to counter... If you even like the place. I mean... It, I mean, I, I'll be honest. It's around a couple of businesses. The jam place isn't too bad. It's just... It's just, you know, that, that casual blacksmith across the street, everyone with their collared shirts. I just can't deal with it. <laughs> Remy's going to nod. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Borky, there's nothing to be ashamed. Well, no, of. we could, we could always we could decide in this one if the other two are, e are more nightmarishly terrible. <laughs> of course, I'm more than happy to see more establishments with you. Absolutely, I'm so excited to check out the next place. <laughs> All right, you 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 go with Adric. Um, he shows you the first location, which is like pretty artisan. The second location is like. Um, is a just a, a warehouse that's like unfinished and has a dirt floor. Like it's right. like. Really, it's a fixer up what you're saying on this one, Adric. Eh? I, I I I'd say so. It doesn't really have a floor. Not really. No, I, I noticed that. It's it's, 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 it's just ground. some walls and a roof. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no hole in this roof. That is true. That is That's, true. Yeah, there's no hole in the roof. It's definitely in a roof, roof wise, How large is this establishment compared to the other? Oh, it's yeah, huge. Squ like it's, square it's, foot. I don't what know. It, I, like, it's like a warehouse. Leave me alone. Well, like uh, gigantic. It's like a couple versions it's, of the thing we it's, just It's egregiously would, large. Would, would, would uh, NCIS have a standoff in this warehouse? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I see. I see. And what photo would you be asking for with this particular establishment? Uh, this one's about a lot cheaper, but it's not as insulated. It's not really, obviously, kind of stamps on the ground. It needs a floor. It probably needs an inner wall and needs a bit of uh, a lot of love. Uh, we'd have to build you a whole straight uh, storefront, but you got a lot of space. Um, so if you want to keep your own animals in here, it could be possible. Um, there's not really much. Do. Well, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to keep Greckles and Remy here, but they can visit. I'm sorry, what? What did you just say to me? <laughs> uh, this one's a little cheaper. It's about seven thousand gold, um, oh, but he kind of opens up the front door. You don't really have much customer traffic, if that's something you're concerned about. And sure enough, there's not a lot of people out and about. It depends. I, I, Bulky, how much do you think your reputation, along with the Unexpectables, would um, go in terms of garnering business? Uh, it's not every day you get to go to the establishment of a hero. People see me as a hero? <laughs> Son, you got a medal on your chest that you got from the city, aye? It was a whole presentation. I yes, thought this was a participation did. award. Yes, you participated in the act of being a hero. You should. Oh, but everyone proud. got one. No, everyone did not get one. Everyone who was there. <laughs> right, all the heroes got one. Oh my god, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's not bad here. It's a bit dirt. We can like. You know, it's kind of hard to say. I I'm really excited to check out the third place. Uh, the third place is a place you've been before. What? 
It is the place you went with Azra to fight the Nothic. Oh, mm. God. I oh, that anime. It's interesting you showed this place off to me, Mr. Metal Man. I, I heard you were the one who cleared it out. Much appreciated. Ah, it's no problem. Now, how much of a discount does that get me for this place? This one here is, is a 10,000 gold pieces because it's got a really nice set of real estate right next to the ocean. So if you want yeah. your own boat to come in and bring shipments in, you could easily get stuff. It's a nice enough building, a uh, little dusty inside, but the stairway is pretty good. Um, we just had to put floors inside for production and a storefront, but that could be possible. Yeah, yeah um, how, uh, and uh, the bank is very close to here, is that true? That is uh, true, uh, yeah, that's very true. Hmm. Uh, what other establishments are in this vicinity in terms of food? <laughs> like nothing. It is literally like a standalone place with like uh, homes. And there's like a couple of little, like there's a there's a wool store that's maybe like five paces down, but that's about it. It's all like, it's all like businesses that exist, but don't really sell out the front. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, businesses that are traffic. just like, yeah, there's no real foot traffic. Okay. Well, so the first location has the best foot traffic. Second one has the best storage. And the third one has the best access to the water. And is in the best shape. Yeah, it is in the best okay. shape. It's a stone best, building. Best trade it's income. It is, is a, a stone tower. Yes. Yeah. That's, mm, okay. So, a fucking Remy. Uh, can we? We're gonna have our aside real fast here, Mister Melamine. Excuse me. All right. Yeah, I'll let you go because I have work to do, and you just let me know what you think, and you can send me a letter or you can send a, a messenger, and we can okay. take a look. I'll look up some more places, perhaps if you're not interested in these three, but we'll look okay. into it. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Meadowman. And he walks away. So I you have that, that to consider. Was... For the sake of this and time, uh, you have that to yeah. consider. There so, we go. Yeah. All right. So, um, Greckles, mm -hmm. you and uh, Enceladus spend oh, no. so much time looking into the Acolytes of the Phoenix. Yep. Uh, to which you discover only a couple of things. All right. Um, they are from the Elemental Plane of Fire. And they are from the Molten Monastery. Uh, historically, they are said to be led uh, by a very powerful uh, monk-like character. Uh, but is, they're never named in any of the books that you read. All right. Uh, but that is all you find. It is just a very brief mentioning of the area hey, and we, of the order. We have a we hey, we have a location and a description of a leader, so that that definitely helps. Um helps. in your search for Ganassi within the town, um <laughs> you find mostly air Ganassi, um mm. and you find like a couple of water Ganassi on the docks. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't lead you anywhere because they were born on the material plane. They don't know anything about uh, the other, the primordial planes. Gotcha. Um, some of them don't even really know that much about their parents. Like, mm. um, the Aragonasi in particular, like, they're orphans. They're like, we didn't have parents. Um, <laughs> Is that their opener? Like, they <laughs> <laughs> But no, as you get to well, talk hey there, to them, you ask parents. them, they're just like, they're just like, I'm sorry, I don't know, because like, I <laughs> wasn't raised by them, I don't know. Sure. Um, and uh, there's like you find one that's like a little girl, uh, but she like runs away because stranger danger, um, and that doesn't really lead anywhere. But mm. overall, your search is not very fruitful, unfortunately. Mm. Um, and water ganasi, they're near the coast, like they live in the dock region, and they're very. They don't like talking to you. Let's just put it that way. Especially when you start talking about the elemental plane of fire. They're oh, sure, because it's the, it's the parallel opposite, I would expect. They're, yeah, they're not a fan. They're like, eh, we don't know about that place. Um, and even if we did, like, shrug. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But you guys go throughout your week uh, doing various different things, enjoying some time off. And that's where we're going to take a break. Did, did uh, and, Fluffy get the stuff done? Uh, Fluffy did, yes. It has been altered. Okay. So I'll let you do that as you see fit. I should probably Woo. buff up my Yo, AC. Cobalt Club was fucking great! <laughs> yeah, oh, I was like... Good. Yeah, if you put studded leather, it'll automatically apply. Hey, Monty, Woo. question. Yep. Was any of the intel that I tried to get successful, or did I come up short on everything? Uh, well, I did, uh... Willow's looking into it. But she uh, needs to find someone who has that, which is tricky because of what type of spell it is. Got it. 
Um, Edward and Basmati is impossible. They're really hard to catch. Okay. Um, Brork is impossible too, given everything else that's going on. Um, and yeah, you train with the Griffin Riders and Knights. Um, you guys actually have a bunch of new members too. Like they're, you're starting to pick up more. Um, hey. to, uh, Avery is just trying to get more members in, but that's all just kind of stuff behind the scenes. Got it. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Everybody take a break and we'll come back. I can't believe I am one harder to hit now. Hey, that one can make the difference. You fucking murdered Remy with that comment, Bosco. I am so sorry. No, man, that was great. Great team. Uh, By the way, uh, you guys can find spells for Willow, too, if you want her to learn stuff. I was going to say, because a wizard, you can just show them spells and they can put them in their yeah. spell book. Do I have any scrolls? I, I don't know. Can I? That's I'll, a look through my, I'll look through yeah, my... Yeah, if you have any if you have any spells that you can give her, she can take them and like, make more. So. I don't have any scrolls, unfortunately. Or if you find That's a spellcaster who can who has that, you can always get them to write a scroll. It costs money though. Like mm. it costs a lot of money. Cough. Monty, do you need to grab anything? I do. I'm gonna get up and eat real quick. Go do it. Go do it. Go fast. Okay. Is Bosco coming in quiet for anyone else? I don't know. Is he? Am I? Cause I I can't tell on my computer. It's through That's Wallfly. True. If I am, I can adjust it on my end so you don't have to move. Blah. Yeah. If you play a wizard, it's really fun. You have yes. yes. All right, I will. I will up second, my volume. Don't there we touch, go. Don't, wait, wait. Don't touch anything. All right, I'll go back. Because I have to balance you on wall. Do it. So go ahead and speak, Bob. Bob All right, speak. One, two, chickity check. Oh yeah, you Chinese are. Chinese chicken. You eat Weird. a drumstick and your heart stops ticking. Bump you up. All right. Don't yeah, touch yeah. Me. I didn't touch anything. I'm where I was. All right. Speak again. Chickity check check one two one two. Mom spaghetti. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. All right. All right. That's cool. as high as I far. It sounds far better. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, awesome. Monty. Hopefully that didn't right. happen in the middle of the session. I, I wasn't aware. Hey, Monty. No, you're good. I, I didn't see yeah. so much of looking at the chat. Why don't you, you mute yourself on Wallfly? Okay. Huh? Why don't you mute yourself on Wallfly? Because I need to hear. Monty. I want to hear how I'm balanced, too. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I need to hear, hear if I'm too loud or not, so... You're never too loud, Monty. Everybody wants to hear you. Well, sometimes I can be. I've screamed before. Yeah, but I'm trying uh, to be we've, nice. we've had a bit of technical difficulties today with microphones. It's been kind of one of those days. Just one at him, do you? Gotcha, are you still here? No, nope. he left. All right. All right, well, I will he... be right back. I'm going to grab something to eat. Good. It is and me, right Internet Temptation, Gaijin Goomba. I am here. By the oh, way, I just want to put this vision in your mind. Yeah, Willow knows fly. Imagine Willow, a person like Willow, knowing the ability to fly. And how bad yeah, that's a that terrible could. idea. She's gonna break every bone. <laughs> every in the body. wind hits every window, like that one episode of oh, fucking Looney Tunes where Daffy hits every tree going down the swing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, I will be right back. I'm just gonna eat something super quick. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, Hoss Rod sloshed. You know what? That's a good night. That was I don't a great. Shit. That was a that great was scene with him. Holy crap! That was a lot of fun. Lord Phantasm so, with the 1500 bits. Been recycling since the start of the stream. Should I keep going when the break ends? Been cycling. Not recycling. Oh. I'll just say. That's some aggressive recycling. I was going to say, what are, you, what are you recycling that requires so much? So but much. Been, Lord Phantasm has been cycling this whole damn time. Well, tell you what, dude. Stop when you... When you feel that's good enough. By the Ooh. way, by the way, Bosco, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, what Thank up? you. Uh, no, I'm happy. I'm, I'm glad I can make you look good, I guess. Hey, who would you like to deal with my bullshit for 15 minutes, Bosco? Sure. I would. I would absolutely love it. <laughs> I deal with your bullshit on an hourly basis anyway, so it's fine. You're trying to be the first bill, right? No, not even. Chaos King Daniel, 1,000 bits, slept through the first half of the night. Take my bits as an apology. Dude, it's all visual. It's all VOD. Don't worry about it, man. But thank you so much for the 1,000 bits nonetheless. Dust of the Forgotten with the 200 bits. Thank you very much. Hoss for Council 2020. Well, put him on blast. Why don't you, Bosco? Kurt knows I love him. Shut up, Advy. <laughs> We're good friends. That's why we never said a kind thing on the stream ever to each it's other. It's true. We <laughs> always have to say, we have to do it behind the scenes where nobody can see us. Exactly. Emotional That's... vulnerability is not something we do publicly. Nope. No. Well. Well, you do. Yeah. You're good at it. You're this. good at it, though. Huh. I try to be sincere when people ask me if I'm okay. 
They're like, oh man, what's wrong? What is, like, I mean, what? Bosco, Bosco, can you, you train them to think that? It's hey, true. I'm too good at my job. Hey, Bosco. Yeah, what's up, Gaijin? I've never asked if you were okay. Oh man, that's, that's true. Funny. No, that no, I appreciate Whoa! it. Oh! oh, holy fuck. We're gonna get to them in here in a second. Uh, just a forgot they give a 200 bits hash rate for council 2020. Mr. Inktail with 500 bits. Hey, Zayn, I'm trying to find, make a cold bolt source for any helpful info. Also, for the Periton meeting, would you guys like guys be willing to serve them shoujo? Why? No. No, I don't think so. Oh, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Light Bender 6 with the 15,000 bits. 1,000. Sorry. 1,000 plus 14 more thousand. 15,000 bits. If you get building one, Borky, you could get the ghost to professionally shine the cheese for spooky aesthetic. Or building three, you could get sea salt to rind your cheese and save on the salt market. Like Bender 6, welcome. Oh, shit. You're part of the Council of Cheese. God. Fuck, now I want to get some, like, sharp cheddar. I'll be right back. So uh, real, real talk, Bird, I'm genuinely happy that you're letting me be a part of that because Remy and Borky have only had very few interactions throughout the entire time I've been here. This is a great chance for them to bond a little bit. I'm really excited. This, this, this is, it's been rather dire every time we've spoken one on one. It has, it's like, lot. oh, tell me about your father. Oh, tell oh. me about the orc tribes and why they remind you of home. Oh. Oh. I'm it's assuming just, that you're going to ask mean, about just, a piano. No. Borky just, Borky just oh, you know. shoulder a couple times. This is smell mostly. <laughs> God. That stink. It just doesn't smell good. You know, it's oh, like God. that. All right. This person has sweat issues, but it's everywhere. By the way, Guy Janet, you're here, right? No. So I have a legitimate question for you. Uh -huh. And you can answer because Monty's not here. Um, so, and I feel like I've asked you this before. In Japan, the mm -hmm. term otaku... It's uh -huh. a derogatory term in Japan, right? No. It is not. Also, probate did a thing. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, fucking damn it. I'm trying to learn stuff. Hmm. Wah. No, ah. probate won't let you. Wow, what a that jerk. That with logic. Thank you for the 400 bits. Dry, dry the air. Thank you for the bits as well. Probate with 100,000 bits. Hmm. There he goes. He's dead. He fell in a pit. He's never coming back. Damn it, I'm back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. So, Gaijin, I need, I need to be culture no, no, shocked. I, I actually have to read out probate's message, oh, though. God, dude, he, Time yeah. for this now. I can't wait for the gobble, for gobble Gourmet to ruin this wonderful week of shenanigans. <laughs> I, of course. Damn it, he's uh, back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I guess, so follow-up question, Gaijin. So what is the origin of the word otaku, and how did it come to be used in America? If you know, I know you don't know everything, but I'm just curious if you happen to have any inside info. In the meantime, we're going to keep thanking uh, Probate for that 100 <laughs> Or not, he's going to ignore me. He doesn't think I'm being genuine. No, I, I man, he is, he's not going to ask you if you're okay. No. Nope. He's really not. He's not. What's up? Sorry, I had to go get uh, tea. Fucking, oh, okay. Well, you just did a sick burn without even knowing it. My question was, so follow up to what I just asked you. Uh -huh. Where is the origin of the word otaku and how did it come to be used in Japan? Otaku is literally meaning one's honorable home. Um, okay. In the beginning, it kind of started off as a derogatory thing, kind of uh, just right before the turn of the century, like the 2000s. And from that, it really became about people who were obsessed with just doing things at home. But uh -huh. it has since kind of branched out. Like, there will be, there'll be people in Japan that are like, oh, I'm train otaku. So they'll be able to tell you, like, every single stop on the Yamanote line. Something like that. Like, if Got I it. were to go to Japan, I would say I'm I'm a bunko otaku or a, 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 a culture it just, otaku. It just, it just so, sounds so like, I'd be a, like Jap a, sport, a Japanese worker expert. Is it something that you, like, know a lot about? It's or is something, it specifically it's something that you inherently obsess over. Now, ah. since then, I mean, it's kind of taken this big, wide sort of, like anime waifu moe etc kind of thing um but it's it, it's really weird i'm actually reading a book on this kind of stuff about otaku and moe um and it's really yeah you were talking how, to me about that it's it's really interesting how oh boy did we have conversations oh uh, my fucking god i just wait for the video man tell me more um, about the industry oh that um uh is problematic um it's not the industry surprisingly it's the uh well we'll get into that later basically 
Otaku, Otaku is just like... It really depends on who you ask. It depends on who you ask that identifies it. If someone came up to me and it's like, are you Otaku? I'd be like, yeah. But I would be a different kind of Otaku compared to someone else. Um, so it's it's very, very open-ended. So, so basically, in Japan, it's a more broadly used thing for somebody who's passionate about a specific thing. So it comes with a qualifier of something Otaku. It is something that someone would call themselves in a jest. Like uh -huh. it's not, it's not. You wouldn't go up in a even a semi-professional setting and be like, "Oh yeah, I'm a yatada otaku." It's something that you would be like, that kind, you'd be kind of embarrassed about it. You'd be joking mm -hmm. about it, maybe over drinks. It's that kind okay. of thing. Nadine, Monty, we we must alert you to a, 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 a two bit drops that <clears throat> happened while you were gone. Okay. A Lightbender six dropping fifteen thousand bits. <whistles> Holy crap. And probate Ooh. dropping 100,000 bits. Oh my god, probate. I know. 100,000! Oh. It's like, it's like the whole... Go ahead. Go no, no, it's fine. No, Sarko Dean dropping 5,000 bits. Talk a catch! Oh shit, fuck. Hopefully this helps money talk to a witch about a cauldron. Oh. What does that uh, even mean? What does that I mean? I don't know. I don't know, Nadine. I think they're saying your current cauldron sucks. Oh, well, yeah. Damn. Uh, yeah. Are we yeah, good to you keep can't going? even say double double. You can only say one double. Double boil and trouble. Thanks, probate. It's appreciated. Yeah, it's really nice. That helps us pay our artists so they can eat. Which is oh, yeah. true. We like our and artists Austin. Eat. That's that's to pay security to keep Austin in his cave where he belongs. Except for Cedric King, he's the only one because he's an orange. He doesn't need. To he's eat. an orange. He's not a tree. But he need we need okay. a gardener for him. We Mr. Inktail with 500 bits Gaijin, since we're in Japan lessons, would you explain what the Yokai Shoujo is in connection to wine, please? Uh, oh, oh my that's god, that's, 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 that's like a, a video topic. Good Wait right. for the video. Oh, god. Wait for the video. <laughs> I will right. genuinely, if you if you actually do a video on that, I would love to see it. Because uh, I'm so confused yeah. about the way that word is used and how it got adopted. Well, there will be people online who are like, no, you don't know what you're talking about. because it's. That I'd rather ask somebody who's actually been to the place and knows the culture, so yeah. Well, maybe you should come and talk to me like a like a friend, you know, just when uh, we're not in the middle oh, of the game. Oh, oh, shot through the heart! Can I, can, uh, I, can we keep going? Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> Bad time, oh, Bosco. Yeah, I'm just going to die over here while you continue, Monty. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> All right. <oof. laughs> uh, Bosco, go brr. <laughs> <laughs> Blackfoot, ferret, go 420-bit scroll of Mythbusters are the best. <laughs> All right. Think of uh, bits, so, um, you guys go to bed. Uh, Greckles, are you? Do you still have Liza's mask? I do still yep. have it. I wasn't okay. planning on wearing it because I didn't want another repeat nightmare before the big day. Oh, come on. Okay. So, uh, in the middle of the night, Greckles, mm -hmm. you hear a rasping at your window. Oh. Uh. I will I will sneak up to try and peek a birdie uh, or a birdie a beady eye out the window to see if I can catch a glance. Go ahead and roll a stealth. Uh, sorry, a perception check for me. Fourteen. You don't see anybody. I'll. Uh, you kind of look around, like kind of confused, and then suddenly, from out of nowhere, Quarian's head just pops out from out of you geez. in front of you. <sighs> Puts a hand over his lips and looks around. What are you doing here? He points towards the window and like does an opening motion. Uh, uh oh oh oh. Does oh, so so wait is this is this a uh, like an, an illusion of sorts or is he actually just telling me to go open the window? He's just telling you to open the window. Uh, all right, uh, I'll all right. I'll go crack it just to just to see what's out there. Uh, you crack it open, and he speaks in Thieves' Cant towards you. Uh-huh. Uh, essentially saying, meet me, uh, on, down the road, near the fountain. All of you, be ready. Oh, wait, all of us? Of course. Uh, uh, hmm. Solly wouldn't have it any other way. And he jumps down off the roof and kind of runs. Gotcha, gotcha. You hear Pancake uh, respond to the sound of movement. Bork, bark, bork, bark. Pancake, stand down. Will you shut up? I'm trying to sleep! <laughs> bork, bark, bark, bork. Whimper, whimper, what? cry. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Heck. 
Init initiate good boy mode. Okay, good boy <laughs> mode initiated. Good boy protocol activated. All right, so All you right. guys, you close the window and. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna first go to panic, and just. Uh, what's that? Uh, hello. Uh, oh, what's panic. Okay. I'm first of all. I'm gonna need you to put pants on for one, and two. Get your stuff together. We're apparently needing. We're needed by Sully. Oh, I guess I will put on pants then. Yeah, it'd be a good thing for you, buddy. Hmm. Um. Go to go to task room next. It's like, by the way, it's like 3 a.m., like 2 or 3 a.m. right now. I'm just trying to be quietish. You, you see a knife peek through the fucking door by where the door handle is. I said shut up! What the fuck do you want, Greckles? Taz, just, just, uh, Sully needs us. Just get your stuff together. Hopefully this won't take forever. <laughs> as far as Borky's room goes, uh, is it locked? No, it's just open. So he, so Greckles is going to go in. And just slowly, slowly put his towel over your mouth. Borky, Borky, I need you to get up. Borky's, Borky's not up. He's just like... <laughs> just... You hear, the, you hear the air coming in through his ears? Um, Greco's leaning down into his ear. Borky, I just heard cheese was outlawed in Elevast. Hands over the mouth, hands over the mouth, hands oh, over you the mouth. Oh, you absolute asshole, I love it. <laughs> hands over the mouth. I need, you, I need you to stay calm. No, Krakos, I had a horrible dream. Borky. You were there. Borky. <laughs> I, need you to, I need you to stay calm, get your stuff. Corian just came by. Sully needs to see us, and we need to keep this on the down low. Okay, okay, I'll grab my stuff. Uh, wrong fault. Uh, Grippos, leave tubs. Um, okay. Should I bring my wet? Oh, don't leave, Grackles. Come on. <laughs> I, I didn't go anywhere, buddy. Ah! Oh, my God. What a great rogue you are. <laughs> oh, that's a first. He just looks at you just, just snidely. <laughs> listen, listen. Mench, you can just just say it. I'm also naked from the legs down, from the waist down. I'll put I some mean, pants on. Strange that you would point that out to me, but all right then. It seems strange you can won't leave. I am also naked. <laughs> all right, fine. Greg, Greco's just gonna. Greco's actually just gonna. Tr unfortunately, Remby, uh, you. I assume you're at home, right? Or did Correct. you stay over? Yeah, you're. You're at your house sleeping. So unfortunately, for this sequence, you are. You're sleeping. That's fine. Yeah, sorry. No, I'm gonna go downstairs quietly, make sure no one else is awake. All right, roll a stealth check for me. Boy, I love this smooth jazz. Yeah, it's called cool. I think it's called covert operation. Nice, twenty-four. <laughs> okay, you sneak easy enough. Sneak across. Uh, you see the door to Helga's room is open, and she's currently got like a like an eye cover on, like a pink eye cover on, and she's got like a face mask all over her face, and she's just like, like it looks like she's dead, but she is sleeping. <laughs> I will slowly close her door. You close it, bro. We live here. Why were you like skulking around? It's Helga. Right? No, no, I'm, I'm just, no. That was Tass coming downstairs and looking over at Greggles and saying that. I. We don't want to wake people up. We're not the only ones who live here. It's not just that. Corian came in, and why Corian though? I, I feel like something's weird. Well, uh, isn't Borky's uh, like got all suited up? Oh, isn't he the stealthy one? That's my point. It. Uh, let's just go meet up. What, what time in the goddamn morning is it, girl? I don't know, maybe two, three o'clock. Oh I got... my god, these are witching hours. Yeah, tell me about it. I got three more and then I gotta go pray. How do you think I feel? Religious? That's very true. <laughs> All right, I guess we just go. <laughs> All right, you guys, make your way down. Uh, as you guys exit out the front, you see Naragan currently, like, he's like, as you guys are opening the door, Naragan is talking to the uh, to Pancake. <laughs> oh boy and it's like the most like one-sided conversation like it's something that you've heard before like uh, a task it's just like and i got her flowers and she seemed to have liked them but she didn't say your eyes didn't sparkle you know i do not understand love 
And so I went and I got her flowers that she liked a bit better and it worked. But the problem is the flowers are really expensive and I don't quite have the amount of money. So I, I don't know what to do. I do not understand love. I pat him on the back and I hand him a hundred gold. Oh, uh, task. Did you have to just be honest with her, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, honest. Being honest with her is probably the best solution, but please just take this, buy her something nice, and let us move on from this. I do worship El Elena, and honesty is definitely key. Right. Though honesty can sometimes get you into some trouble. Ain't that but the truth? Well, uh, actually, tell me about it. We're Says actually, the bard. <laughs> Nargan, we're actually going to head out for a bit, but we shouldn't be too long. Hopefully. This hour, um, well, I hope Elena guides your path. <laughs> be, be careful. There are questionable individuals out there on this time of night. Alavast isn't a perfect place. Oh, I know that all too well. All right. You guys make your way down the street. Are you guys moving stealthily or just walking? I'd like to personally move stealthily just because... Can we move in sync to the song perfectly? Yeah, we're yeah. we're gonna fucking yeah. we're gonna we're gonna Sly Cooper around the town. Yep. All oh, right, everyone else. Just, Cooper just, thing. Wait, it's wait, like, hold up, wait one minute. I cast Hide in Plain Sight on myself. I now get plus ten. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, and everybody. Actually, roll. I better. I'm not here for double twenty eight. Nice. I mean, if you want to be included, someone could go collect you if they want. No, it's fine. It's great. Twenty twenty-two. But what about Remy? Should he come with us? But I'm but I'm burning. was pretty adamant that we kind of hurry this along. Eighteen. So. Nice. All right, you guys all pass. You guys, you guys make your way through the town. Uh, you currently watch as you see, um, you see, uh, Skulk. Uh, and uh, Doro's currently walking through the town with lanterns, just kind of keeping an eye out on things, and they don't notice you as so you guys make your way past. I imagine we're all doing one big tiptoe with the same leg back and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. like Looney Tunes. Yeah. yeah. Remember, remember that one thing from uh, the, the the Family Guy Blue Harvest movie? Dun, 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 dun. I like that. Uh, you guys eventually make your way to the center fountain of the uh, lower general district. It does not run that well, so it's currently off. It only runs during the day. Um, so you guys make your way forward. You currently see kind of looking out is Quarion, just keeping an eye out. And he notices you, and he kind of waves and gestures to you guys to follow him. Yeah, go and make our way. Do, do so. <sighs> Top of the morning to you all. Oh, he picked a hell of a time to get us up. It's night time. It is night time, indeed. I just want to let you know that the Periton warship is docked in the docks, and I want to go do some reconnaissance. Oh, yes. Is that... Wait, wait, wait. Is <gasps> that wise? Yeah, I've been told to do it. Oh, okay, that's different then. He totally, he totally just changes his tune. All right, let's go. <laughs> Cash just looks at Greco's just like, are you fucking sick? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna hard agree on this one. Last time we met them on the sea, they didn't really play fair. We're not going on the sea. We're gonna just look at their boat. And, and see we're the we ones, it. and we're the ones not playing fair this time. All right, before we move then, will you grant me at least a moment to do something then? Sure. Uh, I, ca correct. I cast pass without a trace on everyone. Okay. So everybody gets a plus 10 to their stealth checks now. Yeah! Oh, All right. You guys make your way through the town, avoiding guards uh, and avoiding other... The three drunk dwarves kind of stumble down and it's all just like, shh, as they kind of like, I they kind of make their way down the road. Uh, you guys like do parkour. You guys climb up the side of walls, uh, eventually making your way to the dock district where it's so easy to see. There is a massive warship uh, docked. Um, Does it look like it's the same model as the one we've experienced in the it past? It is bigger and way more menacing. Oh, oh I hate okay. this. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! The 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 art piece on the front has a frown on it. Uh, <laughs> it's just a big uh, frowny face. The like the oh I should know this. I did my boning exam. Um, the bow of the ship has that um, has like a like a. You know, like usually they have like like a lady or a mermaid holding up mm -hmm. a thing. Right. Uh, that one, it is like a sun with like the sunbeams that are kind of pointed down, uh, that kind of arch up in these large spikes. Oh, like Rock of Ages shit. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 
And parked on each of the spikes, which there are four directly in the front, are these giant cannons. Like these are way bigger than your standard affair mm. cannons. These are these are like siege cannons. Advanced cannons. Advanced cool. cannons. Uh, like your average camera cannons are to like shoot and hit like a wooden chip and sink it. This is to shoot and hit stone and steel and break it. Yeah. Um go ahead, you guys kinda park yourselves on the roof of a of a <laughs> warehouse that's kinda offset. Uh, I'm gonna say everybody roll perception checks. Can I pull out my uh, spike? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It should be disadvantaged for those who do not have dark vision, but Quarian's gonna help out, which is so. Like with that, it's a natural twenty. Oh, double seventeens. Yes. Nineteen. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, that's everybody. Corin, did you see anything prior to coming to get us? I just saw that they were docking. I didn't see anything more than that. Ship's so big, I'd be surprised if there isn't an army on board. That probably is. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. That's not what I wanted. Sorry. The flute gets faster. <laughs> Lupa the third starts playing. Uh, sorry, apologies. It's all good. I have <laughs> so task task would be Jigen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh fuck yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Panic. So, <clears throat> everybody but Panic unfortunately passes their perception checks. Uh... Sorry, Panic. You're having a difficult time staying on top of the roof. Like you're like yeah, holding well. up, but you're slipping. Like, Damn accessories. Like a kid at a McDonald's play place trying to go up the slide. <coughs> Come on, guys, let me up. <laughs> um, task. Yeah. Uh, this is a, definitely a flagship. This is a war vessel. Um, not only are there the four giant cannons in the front, uh, on either side flanking uh, down the port side and the starboard side uh, are two actually four significant harpoons that were used to hit Remy. Oh. Like, there's four of them on this ship. Running down the length are just a plethora, at least 20, if not more, cannons on the side. Well, if nothing else, this entire dock could go underwater if they wanted to start firing. Uh, there are people on the deck, and using your spyglass... Uh, by the way, all of you guys see this feature of the ship. The feature, uh, the ship's sail has a giant orange symbol on it, of course, as well as the flag of Periton hanging on the main mast. Um, there is a lookout who hasn't noticed you guys. Um, appears to be looking down and, and listening to orders. Um, <laughs> task, as you kind of look with your spyglass, everyone on this ship is probably one rank lower than Athtar or higher than Athtar. Uh, oh. you, you count probably six heralds of the sun on this vessel. Tass pulls down the spyglass and looks back at everyone else with like the biggest grimace on his face. Just like, yeah, we're very lucky. We're not go meeting these people face to face. This is one step below, one step beyond the worst we've encountered. Oh, I'm going to need to bring a lot more dinosaurs. Uh, you look back in the spyglass, and you do see uh, two figures that you recognize. You see Viantius Apostrophe currently ordering uh, people around on the vessel, and you see the back, the head uh, of Ragus Cade currently. But they have someone else with them. Last time you saw um, Diella, who is an Asimar. You see an armored individual who stands probably, I'm going to say, is, you're with a natural 20, I'm going to say he's probably standing about six feet tall, um, probably wearing the most intense armor you've seen. Uh, it is like, I've been playing a lot of World of Warcraft, but like World of Warcraft end game paladin gear. Like it is like mm -hmm. yellow armor, white inlay, um, mm -hmm. and like he's got probably four swords on either side, like bolted to his side. Um, and a very large kind of wing motif on the back um, and like a huge symbol of the sun on the front. And you see him currently um, just standing at attention. Two of our old standby favorites are there and they brought a walking arsenal with them. 
Look at the size of that guy. That armor. That's... Borky's kind of waving his finger. That's magical, probably. Uh, Karian kind of turns towards you, Task, and goes, <clears throat> You can see the armor with that? As clear as day, yes. Describe it to me, please. I do so. Okay. He kind of bites his knuckle and goes, Oh, that's not good. Fuck me. Why? Who's that? That's Icarus. We've heard that name before, haven't we? You sure have. Mm -hmm. For for brevity's no. sake, who's no. that? Do you guys remember who Icarus is? Anyone have notes? Wasn't Icarus one note. of the um, one of the other big, like larger heralds alongside Athtar? Yes. Yeah. Yep. I think he's the leader of it. I'm pretty sure that's come about. You watch his car and kind of leans down and looks, and he goes, "Not only is not only is that bastard the leader of the heralds, he kind of turns and looks towards you, Greckles. He's also an Azamar too." Wait, Icarus, champion of the sun, Icarus. Yep, that's the Icarus right there. He's the one that they keep separate from everybody else. Unless war is going to happen. Oh, to prevent it. What's better than a massive deterrent? But this feels this feels more like a giant pressing threat. It's if they're going to see, they're bringing their. Of, it's a show of force. Simple show this of force. Isn't, this isn't a meeting. This is an assessment. Uh -huh. They're going to be looking for our weaknesses. Uh, you see now, Task, as the uh, lookout is now like looking around. I need everybody to roll stealth checks with a bonus from Pass Without a Trace for me. I I I turn invisible. <laughs> I just okay. cast invisibility. All right, you cast invisibility. Everybody else, you need to roll. I, I also plus I, I will I will cast greater invisibility. Plus ten, nineteen. Oh well, if you're doing that, then I'll I take that back. If you're gonna I'll, do greater, I'll, I'll cast bestest on uh, myself. Invisibility. <laughs> oh, on yourself. Sorry. You got the high stealth. You got the high stealth roll. I don't trust right. me. Mine is uh, technically minus 34. <laughs> 34? Oh, yeah, because you have your... Uh, I have, to, it's the magic stack? and the Titan plane sight. not moving. Okay. Uh, uh, Borky, 19. Task is 34. Panic uh, is 14. It gives you advantage when you're invisible. Uh, no, I mean, I, that, that's a perception roll. Oh, sorry. I'm completely... I haven't incorrect. rolled stealth yet. Yeah, yeah roll stealth. Uh, oh, sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, it gives you advantage, essentially. 21. Ooh, 30, 31. That's 30 and 31. Or 31, sorry. No. You get plus 10, uh, guys. Don't forget. Yep. And, and also, yeah, I, I also have advantage, so 34. Mm. Uh, Claria got 22, so you guys are good. You guys immediately, as you see the uh, the the scout kind of looking out, you all instinctively duck Four. until his, his gaze passes. One of the invisible gentlemen points out that he's not looking anymore. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so how long should we stay here looking at it? Is there Not anything much... else we should see? We could get closer and try and overhear what they're saying, but that seems incredibly risky. <laughs> yeah, right. that's that's only for a couple people. Uh, no offense. I'm, mm. really I'm not really good at stealth. Mm. Oh, you I'd, like, of... I'd like hang to see on. if they've got an army hang on, on board. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <clears throat> uh, shit. Who should I do this on? Wait, I don't have to do it on a single person. Hang on. I'm reading the spell. The stealthy uh, people. Hey, it's not meta oh. gaming, right? It, it is a it is a creature I have to target with this. Damn it. Um mm, I could scry on them. I wouldn't do that. I know for a fact they're going to have something to some kind of alarm for that. They're coming prepared. I am a bit worried any... too. If Icarus is as strong as Saliandra says, then I worry. Is there a like a like a bird hanging around? Oh yeah, there's like seagulls everywhere. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll. I'll go for like a seagull that's near their boat. I'll scry on the seagull. Okay. You want to scry it on the seagull? To, it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. <laughs> seagull wisdom saving throw. 
Huh? Two. <laughs> it fails. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Click the scrying just to see how much range this thing is going to have. Are you ready for a wall? Sure uh, I am. Uh, the range is, is infinite. Oh, Damn. really? Damn. Yeah. It's just based off of what the... How good can seagulls see? I imagine pretty good. They have C in their name, so... Well, uh, that's true. Yeah. Should we Google it? Uh, uh, I'm about to. <laughs> Sensor moves with the target. Okay. Seagulls have excellent vision, better than humans, uh, and they're one of the few birds that, uh, with eye sockets, that can move in the socket. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that is that is actually very. And unique. they are also extremely clever. That's why I love seagulls. They're my favorite trash bird. You do, don't even do pigeons like this. I I had both, Monty. I lived in New York. I know. Um. Anyway. Uh. Yes. You successfully scry on a on on a seagull. It is currently like resting and preening itself on the edge of the ship, kind of like near one of the cannons. Um, with a closer look, um, you see that there is a lot of people on this vessel. Uh, you I'll, count. I'm gonna. I'm relaying this real time, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. You have the. You have the. The mirror. You guys can all see it through that. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to find something. I could just. Looks like they did bring an I can, army. I can also hear through the sensor as if I was there. Okay. Um, I mean, this is, this is however you define an army. I'm just going to grab it real fast here. Where are ship stat blocks? Thank you. Da, da, da. Uh, there we go. Uh, this would be like probably between the size of a, like, this is a warship, but it has the size of like a, um, like a galley ship. This is like a galley sized warship, essentially. It's, it's just a huge boat. Um, uh, just trying to see how many people would be on board. Uh, sorry. You're right. There's a lot of information ship, on board. Ship go a very, a very powerful scroll wheel. Yeah, I gotta look here. This is not the best. Okay, warship. Uh... Yeah, I'd say there's probably <clears throat> easily at least 150 people on this boat who, who are armed to the teeth. Um, there is just crew. There's probably about, I'm going to say, I'm going to say there's probably 25 that are just like sailors. Um, but 150 people on this boat are like armed militia types, um, squadrons easily. Um, and a small to army. Uh, do you want to roll a perception check for your seagull? Yeah. Go ahead and roll a perception yeah. check. Seagull check. I'm going to use, uh, you know what, let's use, um, because they have good eye, good uh, sight, we're going to use, let's use eagle stats, if I can find eagle stats. Okay. We go where eagle dare. <clears throat> uh, eagle has a plus four to perception. Yeah, so it's uh, plus four perception, and it has advantage on perception checks that rely. Oh, this is to here though. So yeah, just roll. Yeah, plus four. If it gets within ten feet of the boat, I can see in here as if I was there. This is further uh, away. Nang. Okay. Uh, the seagull like moves at some one point as like soldiers are passing by, but it relands. Um, it. Stealth check, I mean, they didn't roll quietly. They're talking relatively loudly. Um, as uh, you see, as Viantius Epistrophe is kind of like barking orders, it's just like, I want this ship guarded at all times around the clock. At night, our enemy moves with such ferocity and fierceness that I am gravely concerned. <laughs> well, pa pa Panic just snickers at that. He's... Uh, He's fucking paranoid. Regus Cade kind of steps forward and goes, So, we are supposed to meet them in the morning after our prayers. And Viantius turns and nods and says, Yes, we are. We'll give them their one chance out. We'll give Saliandris her final bout. And from there, we'll proceed as the speaker sees fit. Icarus, you watch now as the very tall, armored person steps forward. You will join us there. And you will speak of Sully's fall from grace. 
and the armored individual nods. Keep your minds about you. I've got a bad feeling. And Ragus turns and goes, what sort of bad feeling? Kind of narrows his elven eyes and looks around. Like a devil is watching our back. <laughs> I'll, 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 did they hear a seagull chuckle? Was that I, seagull I'll, chuckling? I'll, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll check Bring me that seagull! <laughs> roll, a, roll a stealth check for your seagull, please. Stealth, huh? Yep. Okay, let's see here. Stealth. Come on, Sneakle. Oh, huh, Colonel, I'm trying to eat this crap. Ah, here I go, 12. <laughs> well, the armored individual moves and stops. And before you can realize what happens, I'm going to roll the hit. Oh. That's going to be plus. It's going to be a 27 to hit. Mm, barely. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be ten points of damage to the seagull. The seagull, the seagull's fu fucking done. <laughs> the, word the word, and the word is death. <laughs> yeah, you watch as the seagull just like literally. You guys from the roof watch as the armored individual just like walks over and thrusts out a long sword in like a single frame. And you watch as he just like takes the seagull, and you see the other two kind of look at him shocked. And he just takes his boot and just like slips the seagull off of his foot and like re like cleans the blade and resheathes it. And they all kind of scatter and go lower deck. Well, we're busted. We should probably get out of here. Let's go. Yep. yep. All right. You guys uh, go ahead and make your way down. Um, and make your way through. I'm going to say whoever wants to roll a smell check, a perception check. I'm going to say panic. <sighs> and I'm going to say just panic. I would say just panic for this one. Just roll a perception check for me. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to use my inspiration to re-roll that. Okay. You use your aspect of if to re-roll. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> 21. Yeah! It's smelled. Huh. That's weird. It smells like the sewer. Oh. Around. Oh. 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 Around. Wait. Around uh, Around the boat or around where we are? Where you guys just like left, like you guys are just like jumping down off of the warehouse where you're standing. It smells like someone from the sewer was around here. Are there any manhole covers? Not in this area, no. Are there any Tiango-shaped holes in any walls? <laughs> a survival check to see if you can find you. If you relay this to your party, you could have other people check as well. Yeah, it, it smells awful. Like like the sewers. It smells like the underbelly. You would know. Uh, whoever would like to, roll a survival check. Oh, I will survival. Okay. Uh, okay. It's... I'm going to do this. 18. Seven. Hey, Panic. Welcome to the club. 19. Uh, Half and Borky, you guys kind of look around and you see uh, you see footprints that are definitely Tiengo size. Oh. Which, are they going towards the... Towards? It looks, it looks like they were brought up to this point in the edge. He stood there for a while, which is where the deeper prints are, and he's probably turned around and left. Uh, they were thinking about a different devil. Oh, looks like to me, our dear Tienko came up and was doing the exact same thing we were doing. Well, at least then they know down there. And probably for every man's sake. They like to know what's going on. It's strange to send Tiengo, though. He's not very stealthy. I'm surprised we didn't hear him. Maybe he yeah. assisted. He's got history. Remember yes. what the clerics told us about that island? Oh, the slaughter. Well, let's not stop and figure this out now. Let's get to somewhere where they don't think we're on the street looking at them. 
All right, you guys make your way through. I'm going to say everyone roll a stealth check for me. Here we go look. again. On plus 10, room. everyone. Oh, Turn nice. the page. Uh, 11 plus 10, 21. So 37. That's a natural one. You're still that... stealth, though, aren't you? It uh, lasts an hour. Break. I had yeah, a yeah. break. Oh, you had to break concentration for scrying. That's for right. For scrying, yeah. But you do have plus 10 because of Pass Without Trace. Um, 16. So that's Borky, that's a 22, that's a 35, a, tw a 37, mm -hmm. um, and a 16. Mm -hmm. So that is technically 35. I can <laughs> <laughs> just imagine panic stepping on all four. I, I step in one of the mud prints and it makes a really loud. <laughs> yeah, you really do. Um, you guys now see as some of the, uh, like the guards on the boat are just like kind of coming out and they're now spreading out in the nearby area just to keep an eye on things. And you guys manage to like duck and hide before one turns the corner. One of the heralds of the sun kind of turns and looks around <laughs> by that time <clears throat> move. Like you, he's kind of looking down the, the alleyway and you guys are like all hiding, like kind of near some barrels and you're all just kind of like holding your voices. And he just kind of looks, and it's just like a person kind of was captain. We are trying to move off. It's like move to the left side, and they kind of turn and make their way away. And you guys manage to slip out and make your way back towards the sweet dragon. Oh, well, that's like that. Fuck it. Have, have any of you guys seen that animatic recently of the giant like kaiju Kermit? Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here, and today we're going to talk to you about the words loud and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not seen uh, that, but uh, oh, it's really sounds good. like a fucking adventure right there, doesn't it? <laughs> You guys make your way back to the sweet dragon. Uh, you guys get Corey on a drink, and you guys kind of sit around at the table. Uh... Oh, we oh. didn't get caught. That's good. I don't know. They were on to something. We didn't. We didn't get caught, but now we have to bring the news that they're just prepared to start blasting the moment that they get any reason to. I, I don't. I would imagine they wouldn't start with just a warship, but this is definitely a show to force. I believe that for sure. So how do we play face at the meeting? Yeah, just sit and watch. That's all I can advise. Corin, do you have anyone running recon? This would be the perfect opportunity for someone to do something on either side. Well, I was. Well, I'm gonna probably go back and do that for now, but uh, I don't know. I just want to wait for them to make their perimeter first before I get trapped inside of it. You know what I mean? No, that's fair. I'm talking about at the meeting. Oh. This, this seems this seems like a high time for a political assassination from either side, knowing Tiango's out there. Well, I mean, Tiango's got his deal with the city. He also and... has, well, he also has history. And he hates the United Orange clergy. Yeah, I figured about as much. Uh, silly question, but are they aware that Icarus is coming? Sally is, and she asked me to check. Diallo is here. We're pretty good, but if Icarus is here, that's not a good sign. Well, then you should probably go inform her, like, immediately. Yeah. Give as much prep time as possible, because this is... If it's not expected, then it's unexpected. <laughs> look at the camera. <laughs> yeah, hard look at the camera. <laughs> I want to, but the Why same are time. Shut up. Uh, Quarian kind of puts a, he kind of takes a drink of the ale that you guys just poured out for him. Um, and he kind of sits and rubs his chin and he turns and he goes, there's a part of me that doesn't want to tell her. Why? You think she's going to be nervous for this? You get nervous, yeah. But then again, if she suddenly sees him at the meeting. I was about to say, what's going to be worse, her initial shock then or her being able to prepare for it? <sighs> She's gotten better, but I just don't want it to all, you know, go to nothing. You know what I mean? Then the recon was for nothing. Then if you don't tell her, I'm she just going to say it out loud. She the needs prep to know, work. The yeah. prep work is far more important than just leaving it to chance. No, information no. is the mightiest weapon we have. We're going to, I'm going to feed this information to the council as well and let them know. I mean, they know they're here. They have an idea, but really let them know. About the arsenal on board and off board. The... They wouldn't, they, the United Orange clergy is thoroughly without honor, but well, would they stoop so low as to try an assassination? Why wouldn't no, they? They don't work out of the shadows. They, they hate the shadows. Greckles, come on. 
Yeah, yeah but they also hi- they also hire mercenaries, Gorion. Yeah, we didn't see any mercenaries on that ship, though. That They're doesn't mean they're fine here. The one thing I'm worried about, though, is the discourse that's going to be any of them going to the council from that ship, getting from point A to point B without any innocent bystanders getting caught in the way is bound to happen. And Last we still I don't know who... Did. We still don't know who that spy is or what he knows. See, spies can also be ladies. Turns his head. <laughs> just does a soft slap on Borky's cheek. Just that, eh. You're cute, kid. I'm freaking older than you. All we, all we know about the spies is that they aren't directly working with the United Orient clergy. They're a subsidiary. They reached out. Hmm. We need to. We need. We need to go into this expecting that they know everything. Yeah. They are heavily networked. Well, I'm going to go relay this information to the council and to Solly. See you guys tomorrow. Be safe out there. Bring your weapons. Mm. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> no, the nod. The nod. Uh, lads, what's the over-under on things going horribly wrong tomorrow? We were just told to bring weapons. I mean, that goes without saying, I thought. Yeah, but horribly wrong. Pretty high. I have no faith in this walking being walked away peacefully. Yeah. They're, they're going to walk in sessions. Oh, I had no illusions that the United Orient clergy wasn't going to just lie down and accept peace. They're too Ge- much of a fanatics. Gentlemen, there's a huge question we have to consider. What if they ask for Sully? And what can we do about it? Nothing. We're not fucking giving them Sully. Yeah, I think that's when they bust out Icarus. All right. We were, prepa- we were preparing for war shortly before this. Our plans just move forward from there then. Nothing changes. Then what's going to keep her alive, us alive, and everyone in the city alive? We don't have an organized army, Bannock. We have the orcs. They don't know. And we can't get the message out to them in time. If this Detect goes magic. down tomorrow. Detect magic? Yeah. Okay. Goblin. No. Wait, cat has detected magic. The cat is magic! I cast the tech goblin. <laughs> you succeed. Uh, Scarbles pops up out of the floorboard. Uh, you guy, you you cast detect magic. Yeah, All right. yeah Panic, Panic just perks up suddenly and he casts detect magic. Okay. Alright, you detect magic. Uh, you detect any magic you're used to, so waffles on the ground. Um, items on your party. You don't detect anything else. I'm looking for scrying orbs. Yeah, you look around, you walk around the area, you don't see anything. Okay. I said back down. This music's great. Penny's just slapping away again at Catharsis. <laughs> Borky, yeah, Borky. If you had to, if you had to mobilize the orcs, how fast do you think you could get it done? Uh, we'd have to send a uh, bird of some sort to um, all of them. Um, I mean, th- th- we just left like a couple weeks ago, so I don't know how much to back up to the feed. And truthfully, the irons, I don't know if they're even gonna come because I still haven't gotten them their ladies, unless that ad did gangbusters. We do have that orb. But that would only get to one of the tribes. That's true. Uh, uh, shoot. We have, I, hmm? we have my horn. It's true. That would take time to get them to rally, though. They'd have to get off the mountain. We'd have to go to the mountain first before they'd hear it. This is like, we did like a week true. of prep, truthfully. If we need to cheese it, we can hide there, at least. That is true. Sully will be gone. Not if we save her. Trust then me, if, if shit goes wrong and I need and we need to get Sully out, I can get her out. The problem turn, is, I can't, can't get any of you out. Panic, they're going to turn the guns on the city if we do that. All right, Watch well, Reckles, I have an idea. What's up? 
we're all talking about the here and now. That's basically impossible at this point. There's no way we could possibly do that. However, Tass goes upstairs and grabs like a bunch of the uh, of the pseudo dragons and brings them down and puts them on the table. We have auxiliary for them to all show up. We could send out missives, but I don't think that they can mobilize right away. No, but maybe that's all the time we need. Maybe, maybe, and this is the worst case scenario, while everyone, uh, while the uh, clergy decides that they have successfully taken over the city, we can have outside forces swoop inside. It's, it's all fine and dandy, but the meeting's tomorrow morning. Yeah. And I'm not, it's not literally for... in, like, less than, like, five hours. No, yeah. I, I know, fuck, but again... Why are we awake? <laughs> I mean, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Worst down. case scenario, how hard would it be to mobilize all of that sexy Scarbo's rats? Okay. I don't think that's um, going to be um, much... Um, I said... Grekles is gold-blooming really hard right now. Uh, oh, uh, I wish uh, I was uh, there! <laughs> and then I turned into a fly. Uh, uh, oh, well, life uh, 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 finds a way. What's that uh -oh. laugh he does when he first debuts in, in Dress Park? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 it's like good shit. All right, moving on. All right. Well, you guys, you guys gonna head back to sleep? Yeah. 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 Okay. You guys. Um, head no, back money, to money. I'm actually gonna spend the time and actually send letters to at least get people to prep in case Ooh. something goes down. Uh, send to the orc tribe, send to the Northlanders, to the yak folk, and maybe... Oh, but, but what? Tash, I want to I go to bed. I don't have to write an orc that is, letter. That is a lot of letters, and also, you don't know if things are going to get real. If you... I'm going to yeah. say this, because Quarion left. If you mobilize before things happen, that could be just as bad as if they mobilize. Very well, I will put the yeah. fucking dragons back in. All right, Chunk, go back to sleep. Yay! Uh, you guys go back to sleep and rest. I'm, I'm going to real quickly... Mm -hmm. Um, use my orb of sending. Okay. To contact Tiango. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's what it is. Here okay. We go. If you're going to be, if you're going to be there, don't do anything foolish. More at stake than you know, but be vigilant. Can I count on you? Stinky is what I'll say. Cry <laughs> who at the end. Uh oh. Stinky. Uh oh, stinky. <laughs> oh. I'll 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 put like a little winky emoji at the end of the <laughs> <laughs> mental weak emoji. <laughs> well, don't forget to throw in a ha ha so they think you're not taking it too seriously because make you know, sure also, yeah, he might be Canadian, so make sure add, you put an exclamation like, point. Whatever add you do, don't face. don't text like Bosco, okay? Don't add periods at the end of hello. <laughs> yeah, apparently period. don't use normal punctuation or people Perfect. think you No, hate don't me. you sound mad. Hello, period is just so Perfect. fucking definite. Perfect grammar is terrifying. Yes, yeah, true. That's sad. <laughs> Panic's gonna fucking flex on Tiango by showing him that he has nitro and he can use emotes from any fucking Discord server he's been from. So he just fucking uses the uh-oh stinky at the end. <laughs> All right. No problem. The, the music change really didn't do it for me, though, Monty. <laughs> you wanted to talk to Tiango, buddy. Oh, I did want to talk to Tiango because I know he's probably going to fucking be there and he's going to do something stupid that's going to get us all killed. <laughs> all right. You get a response back. Ooh. Don't you lecture me on steaks. Fuck. <laughs> I'll do as I please. 
God and damn it. what is necessary. They overstep. I slice that leg off. Shut the fuck up. It cuts out. <laughs> to be fair, he could. He, to be fair, he could do it. <laughs> he could totally do it. Well, oh, no. <laughs> I did get a useful piece of information. He's going to be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Oh, hey, good. Money for right. what it's for for <laughs> what it's worth. As for for as much rest as needed for um for a uh, for a long rest. Greckles will be up as soon as that's done and just okay. praying like crazy oh, for guidance. I just fucking uh, see every man at the fucking meeting just pulls back a curtain and there's Tiango. You see, it's a deterrent. <laughs> uh, panic, roll. Yeah. I want to say roll an insight check real fast after sending that message. Okay. Tiango is the nuclear option. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that's a uh, Come on. Oh. Uh, 13. Mm. Okay. He really hovered on the word steak. Mm. Uh, maybe he's hungry, mm. you know? It's, it's <laughs> I, probably, I, I probably succeeded. He he wouldn't use Indomitable for that, would he? Oh. <laughs> hmm. uh, okay. All right. Well. Oh, it, it is It is information that we have now, though. He will yep. be there. Mm -hmm. Spice. You guys, I really don't. I really don't think I changed anything. <laughs> you guys head to sleep, and dawn quickly approaches. Greckles, roll a religion check for me. Oh boy! Wish I was smarter. Nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do a prayer. You kind of fumble it, but you you salvage it, and you you do your prayers as you're able to. Um, in the garden where the sunlight is the best. Oh, and just currently sleeping under a log. He's very comfy. Kind of oh. curled up in a ball. I just imagined uh, log like on his stomach sleeping, like the <laughs> like the like the little cat and the big bulldog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for log is just awake because he doesn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of looks down back at the sword once he's done and just kind of whispers to himself, What in the world do we do? All right. You guys wake up. And you make your way downstairs to the lively tavern. Uh, I'm going to say everybody's going to notice this immediately. Uh, yeah. The moment you guys head downstairs. There is a very familiar sight downstairs as you guys all make your way inside. Uh, Remy, I'm going to say actually you're the one who's, who's going to run into them first. As you make your way into the Sweet Dragon to meet up with your companions first thing in the morning. Okay. Uh, as you walk into the tavern, you see Gruel and Audrey. I'm sorry, Whoa. what? Short the front door, is that Gruel? <laughs> yeah, you, uh, Remy, as you walk in, you see them both sitting at a table. Gruel is currently eating, and Audrey is kind of pointing out different things on a map. Um, and the moment you walk in, Audrey notices you, and she stands up, uh, and notably, she is very pregnant. Uh, oh boy! boy. She's you know forgetting ants. Yeah. You know, you know what that means, guys? She's fucking poggers. No, rule had sex. Uh, they both that see you, Remy. Nice. The rest of you guys are upstairs at this point, but they both see you, uh, Remy, and they kind of turn. And Gruel stands up and is like, "Remy!" He kind of runs over, like pushing people out of the way, and gives you a big hug. Just Remy's actually going to give him tight. a full hug back. Look at you. Gruel. Good to see you. I, I didn't realize you and Audrey would be stopping by. What, to what do we owe the honor? The uh, city place. Chieftain invited us. Plus, uh, he kind of grabs you by the neck and leans in. He goes, I'm having a baby. Well, she's having the baby, but it's mine. But we, we, we should see a human doctor for human things, you know. Kind of pats you on the back. Congratulations, Guru. That's wonderful news. He just smiles his big, like, you know, like Beast from Beauty and the Beast, where he's like trying to all smile friendly, teeth. like, and it's got all the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> smiles like that. And Audrey, Audrey kind of walks up. Audrey kind of walks up and gives you a punch in the side, uh, Remy. All right. What, did you two change bodies? Hey. No. He kind of turns down to Audrey, and Audrey's <laughs> like, I've toughened up a bit with the orcs, but it is nice to see you. It's good to see you as well. 
Uh, would you have happened to see the Unexpectables by any chance? No, yet, no. They're but, still... uh, hopefully we can see them. We're gonna be there today. At the meeting? Hmm. They, inv here. they invaded our lands, so of course we're gonna be there. No, I'm, I'm glad you'll be there, honestly. It'll be good to see more familiar faces in the crowd. Hmm. Bronto Village is part of this. He just kind of waves towards the general area. Call so an attack there. on that is an attack on the city, apparently. Trust me, Gruul. It, like I said, it's good to see you. Hmm. I don't need to be reminded who all is involved. If you remember, they held me captive for 36 hours. <clears throat> Audrey kind of looks down at the floor and goes, I am aware. Gruul kind of turns out, by the way, you should stay here during the meeting. She kind of nods. He's right. It'll probably be safer. Mm. I don't know how they'll react to you. Uh, at this point, everybody else, you make your way downstairs, and uh, Greckles, you make your way back inside of the tavern. Mm -hmm. Gruel? Porky. You kind of like. You guys meet together and you do like the manliest handshake. We got you. We're doing that thing from, uh, you know, from Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> You son of a bitch! I see you had sex! Borky points at her. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey looks very offended. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it was a jest. She huffs and she gets up and walks towards the counter. Thanks, but um, the work is all hers, really. Really? <laughs> Borky's well, yeah. <laughs> She's making the baby, Borky. Right, right, right. It's just a one and done. I'm sorry. It's, well, it's great one... seeing you. It's great seeing you. <laughs> he is wearing nice armor, by the way. Like, he's actually wearing metal armor, which is the first you've ever seen. It is dwarven made metal armor, very clearly made from dwarves and alabast, uh, probably through trading. Um, and furs, and he, he looks very good. He's still shirtless, as he always is. Um, and the horns, the one horn, the other horn has been capped with gold, um, where the horn is missing. So it's been filled in with gold, uh, but um, the other horn is still strong and looks pretty good. How's my axe doing? Oh, it's doing pretty good. I threw it at some things that weren't even from this dimension. You're doing good work. Mm, I Write a I'm legend actually... with that axe. Absolutely. I have uh, one favor to ask. He kind of puts a hand over your shoulder. Borky puts a hand on the other shoulder. What is it, rule? When your time comes to an end, he kind of nudges towards Audrey, who is currently grabbing like a plate of eggs. Gift that to my child. Okay. Hmm. He kind of pats you twice and lets you go. All right, no uh, worries. Uh, Greckles is going to slide in Audrey. Or next to, I should say. Oh, hi. You hey. see that she's really with Kiwi, and Kiwi's like, and then I went on a date, and now I work here. Uh, uh, hey, 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 Kiwi. Knife, Kiwi and Kiwi, then I got Kiwi, the knife, Kiwi. and then I. Uh, it, Ki how, about you, how about you get us a couple of drinks? I, but, uh, okay. He kind of disappears. He's like, looks sad. And she's like, bye, Kiwi. It's this fight, Kiwi. We'll catch up. Hey, Audrey. How are you? And it's been a time. It's been a lot. It's been a time. As I can see, it's been a time for you as well. Congratulations, mm -hmm. by the she way. She kind of pats their, the belly a little bit. She goes, yep. It's been good. I've been kind of um, an ambassador. It's been fun. Life uh, finds a way. Yeah. Have you had a chance uh, at all to, to see the temple here? No. We, we just arrived literally just a little while ago. Um. I hope you can see it. It's it's small, but it's got its own splendor. I will. I, I have to go to a doctor here. Um, Gruel is insistent. Um, but I might be able to sneak it in. We're here on business, mostly. Gruel is, anyway. That's fair. But I'm here to make sure he doesn't get lost. <laughs> she kind of puts a, presses her fingers to her temple. We entered the village, and he started yelling at people, Where's the dragon? Where's the dragon? And I had to lead us in the right direction. No, you got half that right. Hmm. It's Hard uh, to. it's been kind of adventure for me too. I'm I'm starting to see things. Oh, am I seeing things? You're looking really good though. Like way better than last I saw you. Oh yeah, I had a weird <laughs> magical run in, but uh, no, I'm 
I'm, I'm pretty good, as I said that yeah. time. He just kind of looks off in the middle distance. <laughs> oh, handsome. Uh, hey, Panic and Task. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you'll notice Remy go to talk to Greckles, but then as he moves to Audrey, he makes almost a 180 turn and walks towards both of you. Panic, Task, if I may, for a moment. Yeah, I, what's up? I, I could greatly use a tactical assessment and briefing. I don't know who these individuals are that we're going to be watching. Uh, anything you could give me would be very helpful. Oh, right. You weren't. Okay. Strap so, down, sit at a table. We have things yeah. to tell you. I'll get Are you, you a coffee or tea. Uh, tea would be wonderful. Thank you, Panic. Um, right. I guess Made while they cans. do that, just just real quick so you guys can do your thing, Greckles will just be doing Orin talk with her just on the yeah. whole, everything that he's been going through. He doesn't worship Orin anymore. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> she uh, she stopped. Hmm. She worships the idiot now. She worships the god nice. of nature. Hey, nice. Y -y 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 Girl sisters teaching me a lot of things. Oh, uh, that's fair. I mean, I still love Orin in my own way, but I don't think it's my path. And I have to help the orcs. I'm educating them. I'm teaching how to read and write. Um, Look, it's just. No one's here to judge you, Audrey. Oh, I'm I know. Happy, I'm happy but... you found a way. Mm -hmm. I just wish I could help you a bit more. But unfortunately, I was only an apprentice there, really. Well, maybe if there's some time. I do have okay. questions, but there's more pressing matters at hand. Of course. Uh, you guys all sit down at a table with the Gruel. Audrey comes by and oh, okay. uh, Gruel, Gruel kind of pushes the coffee towards her and she kind of waves her hands. No, it's bad for the baby. He goes, oh, right. And kind of takes the coffee from her. <laughs> Right, so, um, what can you tell me? <sighs> okay. They've brought their best warrior. Icarus, I don't know if you've they... ever heard the name. Audrey kind of like, sp like <laughs> spits out her drink and she's like, they brought Icarus? Jesus, I didn't know you were... <laughs> uh, um, A lot yeah, more heralds so... as well. The heralds I would expect, this Icarus person, what do we know of him? He's the champion he, of Periton. He... He's the... I've only heard rumors, and I've seen what he can do to a seagull firsthand. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've heard that name they before. He, they say champion he's of the, the sun? champion of oh. the sun. He is the strongest warrior the United Order clergy has. All right, so it's a show of force that makes Audrey sense. Kindly Star goes, they say where he goes, Sunfire follows. Is there any chance that this particular meeting is simply a prelude to the coming battle? Oh, probably. Absolutely. A good, uh, probably a pretty good chance. But they already have a small army on board. Th this isn't a negotiation. This is a threat. They and a, and, a, and a hovering of the finger over the war button. Yeah, right, they're, they're, they're probably trying to strong arm us. They have about 150 people there, all armed. All right, let me, you, you know them better than I. Is there any chance that these negotiations will go anywhere if they don't include Solly? Because that's certainly off the table. That's what we're worried about. Because that I sounds like exactly the, what I, I have a feeling the moment anyone says, no, we're not giving her up, is the moment that they just send the entire army in at an undisclosed time. Here's, that here's depends. Audrey kind of chimes in. Um, how so? Well, no one came back for us. I wonder how much they value Solly. I mean, not that sounds so bad, but you know what I mean? No, I, I do. It's, my experience with the clergy has been always been that they have wanted Solly to return for whatever reason. They've never seemed to budge off of that. So if they were to do that, I would then question why their perceptions have changed, why the need is no longer as strong as it was. Here's another question. How against devils and demons is the clergy, even as fanatical as we believe a particular sect to be? It depends on the region. Audrey kind of chimes in. I know this. Well, the last time I was taken prisoner by them, uh, they wouldn't even let me talk. They were so paranoid. So that they, is true. Do, they gagged uh, me because I had the devil's tongue. Audrey, do you know anything about 
uh, this Ragus Cade, or uh, what was the other one? I Vianti. imagine Viantius Apostrophe. Yes. yes. Ragus Cade is a retired warrior of our people, but his legends are renowned stories. But with clarity, I wonder how legitimate they are. He is a formidable warrior. He has slain many creatures, almost like, and drow matriarchs and other such things. There are legends that he smote down a Draco Lich, led the charge against a war against a Draco Lich in his youth. But he's a, he's a, he's a uh, Draco Lich, a scary opponent. It's an undead dragon. <clears throat> Yikes. Would you say I that he. Go ahead, Grackles. I would find that hard to believe, considering what we saw the dragons were capable of doing. Mm. Do what I what would I know about like liches or necromancy or anything like that? Uh roll a religion check. I did grow up in Tracadia. You did. Would I you know anything about this? I would uh, say yes. Twenty four. Task, well. Task as well. Religion with necromancy. It's not bad. Religion. Come on, baby. Okay. Nah, seven. Um, Your sister had dealings in, in necromancy, but never really in raising the dead from what your experiences were for the most part. Fair enough. Um, she never really raised minions and commanded them. That was kind of not, she wasn't super cool with that. She's like, this is kind of my, my stopping point. But she's done other things like talking to the dead and summoning the dead to speak with them, but never really mm -hmm. commanding them. Right uh, panic. Anything can be undead if it's killed and a crecta has its hands on it. Um, in Tracadia, that can be, you know, humans, which is the most easiest and common thing to see, but any creature can turn undead if the forces are right. Draco liches can be a variety of powers. Um, they can be cataclysmic levels, like an ancient dragon, an, an undead ancient dragon is very bad, but they can also be an undead, like, younger dragon, too. Um, so with that in mind, maybe it was a big dragon, maybe it was a little dragon, you don't know, you weren't there. But Draco Liches are quite substantial. They're very terrifying. They're extremely hard to kill, and it takes someone of, of very good power to do so. Uh, Draco Lich, pretty fucking scary. I mean, dragons, scary. Liches, scary. Draco Liches, pretty fucking scary. I was going to say, probably scary. So it's safe to say that this Ragus Cade probably despises the undead, demons, devils, things... Unnatural. Uh, Audrey kind of looks up and goes, "Doesn't everybody?" I mean, no, like, undead, I, well, undead. Right. I, I'm. I'm more. Obviously, the undead. What is, what is dead should not be undead. But I'm curious. If you remember, panic. We've had run-ins with creatures like that before. Demons. Uh, 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 we have. It is possible, based on what we know, that we weren't the only ones infiltrated, and in that we may have a common enemy. Yeah, what? but are they gonna are they gonna you... believe the claim that Yugoloths and whatnot? They have no reason to believe the claim, and convincing them of it will be an they uphill have... task, no pun intended, that I don't know if we can accomplish, but it is something. Audrey. We know how these people think. We know do how we, they feel. Do we really know? There's a lot of information that got dumped on us about what the inner mechanisms are going on right now in the in the clergy. There could be an infinite amount of things that we don't know. This is why Sully wants us to stay quiet so we don't jump the gun. I exactly. feel like we're going to get to the bottom of it when we get there and hear what they have to say. I, not I, gotta put, I gotta believe that they would not just attack in the middle of a town in their territory. Surrounded. Well, wait. Where is the meeting being held? Uh, Gruel turns There's... and goes, the council building. Mm. Yes, oh, I, so it is in town. Mm. I highly doubt that they are going to start a war and try to attack now. I think at the very least they will leave and return with many more ships and many, many more soldiers. Audrey, do you by chance know the process in which they would start negotiations based on their own law? She looks down and she, she was not like a very high up there. No, that's, that's fine. It was just I mean, trying to get info. 
probably it would come in stages. Hmm. I mean, they're going to probably discuss, but knowing them and this place, and she kind of points to, you see, like, two kobolds and a drow, like, laughing over tankards. Mm -hmm. They have their own ideas of what this place should be. Right. But I don't know why they can't just let it go. That's what I don't understand. There's a chance being... that they may be maybe being manipulated. That's a very big chance. In fact, we're almost 100% sure that they're being manipulated. Sol Solander we... said that... Oh, sorry, go ahead. We don't know by what, and we don't know why. Solander all... said that she may have found the actual Herald, which is making us all concerned about... Herald? Ooh. There are several. Uh, do, sorry, do you mean terminal. Speaker? Speaker. 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 I'm tired, I'm sorry. No worries. You're right. <laughs> So, the... go ahead. But the speaker is in Periton. That, that's, yeah. that's what's causing the concern. Uh... We, think, we think the speaker might be getting spoken to by something that is not Orin, because we found, or Solly found the speaker. And she's certain of this? Pretty certain. Not not 100%, but based off of everything that she knows, she's and pretty, she's almost 90% certain. And based, and based on the running history with the clergy and how warmongering they are, it's a very big possibility that they're all getting played like puppets. Periton may have its problems, but it is not warmongering. Audrey Listen, this, this is she kind of grips her cup a bit, and she goes, "We enter places to try and better them. That was our goal. We don't right. want to take over." And Audrey, I I don't think that you're wrong. I think perhaps there is someone telling those at the top what better might be, and that definition may no longer be in line with what many of you believe is true. Those sad, uh, silly bastards don't even realize that they're getting played. Gruel puts a hand on Audrey's shoulder and kind of leans down and kisses her on the cheek and goes, think of the baby. She's like, I'm not stressed. She kind of like readjusts and drinks her drink a little angrily, but... The well, point is, you know, the, only, the only thing that we know that we have in common with any of these clergymen is that we have had issues with demons. Other than that, the way we see Alavast, the way we believe it should be run, all of that is going to run contrary the only unifying thing we have is that fact. But the Periton hasn't had issues with demons or devils in years. I know, Besides, and... like, one or two small cases, but that's squashed out cases? as quickly as the paladins can be, you know, utilized. To my knowledge, I don't know of any other demons being in Alavas before the incident that we took care of. She watches Audrey kind of looks towards panic and then, like, almost, like, Self-loathing kind of looks away. Like, how could I do that? How could I look at him when you say that? Like, looking no, at no. like it's a different set of circumstances, Audrey. Mm. Yeah, I'm used to it. Sorry. The well, doors of the tavern open. Okay. And you watch as Lady Isla walks in. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, uh, I need to immediately get stand up. Yeah, Panic will also actually stand up and give a little bow. Likewise, this, he falls back in his chair. This place is bumping, as the youths would say. Oh, uh, mm. yes, oh, damn it. Is indeed bumping. She kind of looks towards you, oh. panic, and blinks like very slowly twice, and goes, "Hello again." <laughs> Lady Ella, I I never got an opportunity to thank you for what you did for me. Thank my father. Mm. Thanks, Harvest Man. <laughs> he, he, you gives, like, he gives like double finger crossbows to the sky. <laughs> she looks up to like an undiscriminate form and just kind of nods and looks back down to you. <laughs> Besides, you weren't gone for too long, so it was easier. I'm sorry, panic gone? Don't worry about it. Uh, right. Lady Isla, um, to what do we owe the pleasure? 
I've come to collect you. Brian. Oh, the meeting, yes. Mm-hmm. Just nods right, and <clears throat> Yes. Um Well uh, shall we, gentlemen? Well <sighs> Mark brushes himself off. Yeah, Quick, I'm gonna I'm gonna sword. take a little bit of opportunity to make everybody look and smell pristine. Yeah, Remy is in the best armor he owns with all of his gear. I have a carriage outside for all of us. That's awesome, Borky says, moving past her to look at it. Yeah, it's very nice. It's like a gothic y oh. kind of style carriage. Oh, it's just like the one in Tracadia, only this one doesn't cost me all of my money. It'll be a I ride to die not. for. <laughs> Someone is going to die. Of oh, fun! <laughs> fun. <laughs> Shout out Lady to Ally, I didn't know your, I didn't know your husband was here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on, on the way out, Remy's going to put a, uh, a hand on Audrey's shoulder. Mm. I promise you, everything will be all right. I know everything will be all right. Congratulations again. And he's going to leave. He kind of pats twice and you make your way out. You guys get in the carriages uh, and you're very briskly taken up to the council. Um, easily passing through the gates. The moment like Isla just pulls back the curtain and they're like, oh, Lady Isla, sorry. They kind of like immediately want her out of there. They're like, go, 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 go. And she's like, mm -hmm. how's the wife? And they just drive away like before she can even get out. <laughs> uh, you guys are led up to uh, the Temple of Alvin. Uh, as you enter, you see Brark. You do see Balfour Belton. He is here. Uh, Holy shit. Yeah, he's actually here. Uh, one second. Came off the front for this? This is big. I imagine they need everybody for this shit. Yeah, <laughs> but like to pull him off the front, holy shit. No, zoom ve no zooming in on this one. No, there's no zooming in on this one. He's shown up. Uh, so you see Brork, you see Ragus Kate, or sorry, not Ragus Kate. Oh my god. Balfour oh. Belton. That would be awful. The uh, yeah, I'd be like, I'm sorry, yeah. totally negotiated. Fuck. It's on <laughs> the council. You see Hammernar. You see Edward and Robso. Shit. And you see Solly and all of her guards, including excluding Quarion. Quarion is not there. Um, as we're walking in, I want to lean over to Panic. Panic. We should keep an eye on Ragus and Viantius. Oh. If you want. No doubt. Just to pick one of them. I'll keep an eye on the other. We said something off. He's I'll mine. On, I'll keep an eye on Kate. Um, and Monty, if we can, I just want to roll a general insight check when they when he comes in. All right. Uh, they're all kind of mulling about in conversation. Everyone looks somewhat grim. Even Balfour Balton, as boisterous as he is, he is currently talking with Hammernar, and he seems very like you. You've seen him on the front before. He switches between being like ah oh, to like serious business time. Like it's like a total one eighty each mm -hmm. time, and you can tell he's definitely more full serious mode right now, kind of talking to Hammernar. Um, the moment you guys enter, all the heads turn, and Isla's just like, Huggly Bear, and he's like, Smumblekins, and just immediately like, <laughs> engulfs Isla, she just disappears into his beard. Um, Solly kind of uh, looks a bit nervously towards Isla and Balfour Bouton, like almost like kind of like shrinking into her own shoulders at the two of them. Um, Isla kind of turns towards Sully and goes, Hello, Sully Andrus. Have you opened any interesting doors lately? Uh, and you see as Sully goes, uh, No, I, I have, I, um, mm. uh, she kind of gets kind of quiet and yeah. stiffens and kind of adjusts her swords at her side. Hmm. Isla turns back. And you guys are now amongst these individuals in the Avon Temple. Are we allowed to? communicate with them or are we supposed to take yeah i mean everyone's just kind of okay. looking at you and um i'm actually gonna go to pilchard if that's okay uh, borky's gonna wander over to azra zahar okay you guys head over to each guard uh, uh remy's gonna point at solly and kind of nod for panic to go talk because words better from panic e well I'm, I'm assuming she already knows everything that i know uh i i got no one to talk to in particular so if someone <laughs> wants to approach me go ahead <laughs> you did this! You did yeah. this! I'll go to Azra Zahar. Oh, no, oh, Brooke, no. Is here. Brooke is here, isn't he? 
Uh, is here. Bad, too, too bad the I'm going to him. tentacles wrap around you. All right, you got you head over to Bork. Um, That's where Remy was going to go, so I'll go with him. Okay. All right. Uh, Remy and Panic, you guys approach Bork. Bork. Bork looks nervous, but he looks in control. Um, he just seems like he hasn't probably gotten the best night's sleep. Um, Commander Bronze Fang. Goes. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I just said Commander Bronze Fang to address him. <sighs> Mr. Your Majesty Remus Corbeau. I, like I really wish we would to... stop meeting on these terms. Yes, we really should. How fares things thus far? There, he kind of looks over out the window where you guys can see the dock from this position. There's a warship docked in the city of Alavast from a country that doesn't particularly like us. What's it cannot take over the city with 150 people, but it does make this one nervous. It's yeah, so well, <laughs> if they do try anything, rest assured that uh, Alavast has us. We are not attacking these people. Any signs of aggression could lead to full-out war instantly. I'm just saying we're not going to let them roll over us. Good. We need time if they are going to attack, which seems certain. We need time to collect our resources. If, if I may, Commander, and I understand if it's top secret, but do you have a strategy? He looks towards Balfour Balton, who's currently like like totally snogging on his wife, just wildly. He's just like, we'll make something. <laughs> After those dragon attacks, Alavas has been spread a little thin. We're still doing repairs. Mm. How fair the repairs? As well as only a few of the dwarves can do. We lost many people in the attacks, but we will find a way. Considering the potential tensions with Peritum, I am curious how are things on the front? Um, Balfour Valentine turns and goes, Oh, the front's doing good! We've got them really going back to their volcano now. Uh, good to hear, Commander Balfour. I, I appreciate the update. He kind of walks up to you and puts a big, thick arm around your neck, Remy, and just kind of squeezes a little too tight. Commander Bolton, good to see you again. It is. So he kind of, like, like just, like, like kind of pats your chest really hard and goes, Remy, you're looking hearty and strong. Uh, yes, I am doing my best. I certainly miss everyone at the front. I hope things have been well. Well, we sent a lot of people home. We don't really need them anymore. Good to hear. Yes, I'm... He had training Griffin Riders now. I've heard. Audrey is, uh, let me know. Uh, all right, sorry, Avery. Oh, my God, that's me. That was the No, DM. you're good. Avery's been letting me know and giving me reports. We want to utilize the Griffin Riders as a full-on liaison and reconnaissance unit for the city. I think it'd be quite good. Don't you think so, Smubble Muffins? And you watch as Isla's just like, yeah. And she's just, like, talking <laughs> with a couple of her clerics at the moment. Yeah, anyway. Like hmm? Hmm? He looks towards you, Panic. Is, were you saying that as Panic? Oh, I said that out of character. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Brooke kind of like sighs and nods and goes, the best thing we can do is listen. I expect that they're probably only going to really talk to Sully Andrus. I, I would um, agree. I, I assume she's not going anywhere. That's off the table, Commander. Everyone in the entire temple just looks very quiet and very grim. Oh, that's a shame. Come on, please. Uh, Edward and Rob so steps up and goes, our goal is to ensure that Lady Saliandris remains in Alabast. But it is on the table. It is on the table, but is not glued to the table. Fair enough. Is there anything that we can do? Be observant. And when you leave this place, try not to incite a fight again. If there is a fight, they'll start it. There will be no conflicts, I can assure you. Not on my end, at least. Mm, actually, that might not be entirely true. Bro, can I speak to you privately for just a second? Roll a persuasion check. Ugh. Come on, you're good at those. I I am? Maybe? I don't what know. We're going to learn. You got a plus seven to it. Twelve. 
Burp got an eight because he's an idiot. Before you leave, Remy wants to insight you if you'll let him. Sure. That's weird. Good fucking luck. <laughs> 19. Roll a deception. Oh, come on. Oh, 15! Yeah! You were saying oh, that shit to me, uh, Manic! Oh, I, I shouldn't have wished you good luck. You actually got it. <laughs> 15 from a 2, though. That's uh, impressive. Natural 2. <laughs> natural 2 to the never tune say of 15. Never, never say never in D&D. &D. Uh, dreams don't die. So, what's the scoop? Panic knows something you don't know. Remy's going to give you a look like he understands and he will give you some space, but you know that he knows that you know something he doesn't know. What a But circle. he will give you the space because he trusts you. Oh, my fucking so. head hurts. My brain. <laughs> it's midnight. You know I'm too tired I for know this. That, <laughs> I know that you know that I know that you know something that I don't know. he found out that he's the one. No. You just fucking All did right. a Zombie thing. I know something you don't know. I, I thought I was clear. I said you know something I don't. I'm, look, I'm, I'm content. Remy's gonna go uh, approach I'm, Solly while he takes Brooke aside. Yeah, so I'm, gonna pull, I'm gonna pull Brooke aside. Yeah, you take Brooke aside and he kind of dismisses his guards. He's got some pal. There's some paladins here that are, you know, high ranking members of the different clergies just as guards for these particular individuals, except for Balfour Belton. He's fine. Um, now, I don't want to alarm you. He oh. looks at you like, oh my god. Like, you, he pursed his eyes it's down, like, the, and sucks in his lips, like... Oh. It, <laughs> it is the last thing I'm going to do. Uh, I, it's the last thing I want to do. But if we're going to pull this off smoothly, I figured that you, of all people, should know because I trust you. And I, I point my finger towards his breastplate. You gave me a chance, so I want to put all the cards on the table. Very well. The Red Death is watching. This. Yeah. We figured about as much. He didn't seem pleased. Does he ever seem pleased? No, but I see him get close. He kind of looks at you and cocks his head. He just he just shirks away and like like does the both hands up like don't ask. <laughs> I thought you were entrusting with me. The little girl made friends with her. The Red Death made friends with a kid. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's just what I saw, man. Roll a persuasion check. Great. The one thing I'm not trained in. Natural one! Uh, well, he turns to you and goes, if you're joking to try and calm me down, it is appreciated, but unnecessary. I Ooh. I am not, as a matter of fact, joking with you. Mm -hmm. But that is good to know. Thank you. I don't know how much everybody else knows, and he like waggles his, waggles his eyes. Let's keep it that way. <sighs> Just... Be ready. I don't know what he's planning. I'm hoping for the best, but prepared for the worst. That's all we can do, Brook. Not... You want me to get you a coffee or something? You look tired. I'm always tired. No, I'm good. Mm. Uh, Greckles, who are you wanting to approach? Uh, Pilchard and then briefly Solly. Okay, you approach. Pilchard and Solly are kind of within the same group. Uh, the only oh, person who's missing, the only person who's missing is Quarion. Quarion is not around that yeah. you can see. Filter kind of, and goes, "Hey, hey," and just kind of very, very quietly, uh, is the perimeter secure? No one's gonna try anything on it's either it, side. As secure as we can make it. That's good to know. What are you expecting? In my many years of being alive, I actually don't know. I guess you and me both. I just want to make sure that this place was locked down to the best of abilities. The United Clergy of Orin is a monster I am not aware of anymore. Fair. Hey, Solly. Yes. 
I know you're stressed. I know you're tired. But we're here for you. Through everything. Don't Roll a persuasion that. check. Please! Go, man, go! Oh, oh my ah! fucking... I saw the fucking dice on the 19. T yeah, and uh -huh. it went to I one! I am just... Fucking I am oof. just... I'm just... I can't get a break. Natural one. Solly looks forward, and she's got her hand on her sword. Um, and she goes, Thank you, Grickles. And no problem. Uh... Remy was heading towards Dolly too. Can he slide in? Uh, yeah. Actually, can, uh, re okay. real quick, I've been go. I've been waiting for Azra. Yeah, go ahead. No, you go ahead, Kurt. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go no, ahead. I feel like I feel like I feel like I'm cutting in no, here. I already so. had a scene. You go. go yeah, you already you already had a scene, boss. Go get out of here. Fuck you. I'm trying. Uh, trying to be nice. <laughs> Borky, you slide up to Azra Zahar, who is looking very intense as usual. I know you're in your zone right now, Miss Zahar. So I'll keep it brief. Remember that tower where we. Uh, did that patrol together? I like to forget, Borky. Well, I might be purchasing it, possibly, and turning it into a cheesery. A cheesery? Yes, right. A cheesery. A place that sells exotic, artisanal, locally sourced cheeses. I figured I'd give you a brief piece of good news in this sea of terrible. <laughs> Roll a charisma check with the damage. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh Here comes the god. natural 20. 18. I was close. Come on. Well, I'm glad to see your machinations bring forth a beacon of hope in these desperate times. I just so you know, if you ever come there, mm -hmm. you get 50% off. <sighs> oh. Be still my beating heart. Borky takes that literally and just nods and walks away. Be well, Azra Sahar. Yourself as well, Master Borky. Oh my god. Borky walking away. What am I the master of? Jeez, <laughs> oh, no. apparently. Jeez. So, Greckles, uh, you'll see Remy walk up as you're giving a pep talk to Solly. And I'm going to put a hand on Sully's shoulder so I don't... Oh, she kind of jolts at that, not seeing yep. you, and kind of turns. <laughs> of course. Uh, my apologies, Lady Sully Andres. How are you feeling? Nervous. Like the world is caving in around me. I can assure you it's not. Greckles is right, though. We are all behind you. You have all of our support. She nods. Uh, if, if I may leave you with some words that my father told me when I was uh, learning the, the all of this, this art of negotiation, he said, um, in times of turbulence, great leaders build bridges, not walls. And so I'm going to try. You're, you're going to succeed, Solly. I know it. Uh, you guys watch as the front entrances of the temple opens. Oh, God! Uh, oh. and you see, uh, this is Vincent Stramain. He's a human. He represents the USPA clergy. He oh. opens the front doors and says, our audience is ready. He does like a gesture out the door. Real quick. Yep. I'm going to play a very inspirational song for Sally. Okay. Yeah. I'll play like the Alabas National Anthem, but amazing because I'm panicked fucking grim ton. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and, unless it's an ability, go ahead and roll a uh, performance. I'm giving her Bardic Inspiration. Oh, okay. Okay. You're going to give her Bardic Inspiration. All right. What is the dice? It's a D10 now. Wow. Um, yeah. Okay. You guys um, make your way. You feel as if you're walking to the gallows. How far you. away? How far away are we from her? From Solly? Yeah. Uh, her guards are between you and her. Um, for whatever it may be worth, money, just ready to action. If anyone tries to strike at her, just jump in front of it. Okay, get down, to Mr. President. Yep. Okay, uh, Mr. President. 
Also, when Remy touched her shoulder, I actually did want to cast something on her if we're allowed. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, it's all good. Uh, So he will whisper to himself, Presidio, and cast protection from good and evil on her. Okay. Nice. Very good. I'm going to click on the spell so that you have it. Um, So until the spell ends, a willing creature that is touched has protection against all that stuff. Uh, so she had, they have disadvantage to hurt her. She can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Uh, and if they're under any of those conditions, it goes away. Okay. Mm. Or sorry, the target has advantage to get rid of it. I apologize. You guys enter inside of the council building, a place you remember. Panic, you sweat in memory of that bell being held by the shadow of Edward and Robso. And your guys' subsequent trial in there. Uh, as you guys enter... You see all the leading members of the council, uh, with the exception of the um, uh, the Nerasman representative. There is the Nerasman collective, which is different, but there is no Nerasman representative. Mm-hmm. Um, specifically, the Azamar of Nerasman that apparently exists, but no one's seen. Um, you see uh, Isla, Balfour Balton. Uh, Bismati Primtash is outside of the building, but is not inside. You see her as you pass by. Brooke Bronzefang, Edward and Robso, Hammernar. Uh, there is a new representative of the Almond clergy, uh, which is a appears to be a high elf uh, young man. You don't know him. Uh, you see, uh, usually you would see the other human representative, but because Balfour Balton is here, that's what Balfour Balton's doing. Um, you see Vincent Strumain, you see everybody who represents each clergy, uh, including Sionia Orican. She's the Illinois clergy leader. She actually notices you guys and does wave to you very nicely. Um, and every single other one, um, with the exclusion of Mr. Chance, he's not here. Um, you are. Um, is, is the Almond clergy guy in Azamar? Uh, he is not. No, he is. He is an elf. Okay. He, he's a I, high I, elf. Because I know that that Azamar in this world can be different species. And different races. Yeah, no, he he is he is very clearly just a normal elf. Uh, okay. He's got kind of like blonde, short hair and really long ears, um, and he seems kind of nervous too. It's probably like his first really big, eventful sort of thing that's going to happen. Mm. Um, as yes, yeah, you guys take your seats. Um, Soliandros kind of sits nearby. Gosh, even my heart's pounding right now. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and the doors come to a close, and you sit there waiting in complete silence for five minutes. Not a sound of a quill being moved or a piece of paper being shuffled happens as everyone remains quiet and nervous. The double doors open up and walks in four individuals. The first is Viantius Apostrophe. His golden elven hair rolling behind him as he wears a jacket of pure white embellished with symbols of Orin and a shoulder piece and armor indicating years of dedication to military service. He strides in and looks about the room. Following him is Ragus Cade, grim face, the eye scar still seen, wearing cruder armor, well used, almost a point of pride in its damage, as he stands and steps up next to Viantius Apostrophe. Behind them, a young female cleric of very immaculate beauty, who you do not know. Short hair, wide eyes. She's probably like 18 year old, 18 years old, same age as when Helena arrived here, probably younger even. And she seems like the sort of naive, unaware. The fourth person walks in and the air suffocates around you as the sound of clanking heavy metal steps inside as Icarus enters the room. He looks about without taking his helmet off and looks about the room. Being within his space, you feel a pressure in your chest like someone is reaching in and squeezing inside of you. 
as the four of them stand and the doors like a gavel boom boom close behind them Oh, uh, I was going to ask, now that they're in the room, can I roll my inside check to watch what's going down? Sure, go ahead and pick an individual who you want to insight. Everybody pick an individual they want to insight. So you have... I'm keeping have... my eyes firmly on Viantius. Okay. I have my eyes on Ragus Cade, as I told Panic. Okay, who wants to read the other two? I'm reading the new girl. New girl? Uh, All right. Well, I'm right. going to read... It, um, it, it, um, uh, his name is it, um, Icarus. Icky. How about you, Task? Man. Task? I, 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 fuck. Everyone took the ones I was going to say, but yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 it's five tasks. to it's five four, dude. I mean, it was yeah, going to happen. <laughs> if you really want to make sure that we get somebody, this is a great chance to double up. Yep. Uh, it was going to be Icarus at first, but now I'm kind of interested in the new girl. Your call, so, please. panic. We'll start with you. You incite Viantius epistrophe. Come on, baby, okay. you got this. Wait a minute. I'm I'm sorry. Wait. Is Solly on the table to read? Yeah, you can you can incite Solly. That's my that's my cue. There you go. Okay. That insight is to the tune of twenty seven. Oh, 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 I love wow. you, panic. Nice. Let's go, he baby. A, he rolled a twenty four. Wow. He <laughs> looks. The, he looks about the room. His eyes catch Solly, and then he catches. Azra Sahar, and he looks like someone spat in his sandwich. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Oh, that right. Hold on. No, right. Kobolds. And Azra Sahar, Azra Sahar is sitting with her arms crossed and just looking like they're both staring at each other. And he looks like, if looks could kill, and she's just like, yeah, what are you going to do about it, bitch? Like, that's her yes. look. Oh, Fuck I yeah. Love it. So, so wait, from from my insight, it the it they definitely have history. Correct. No, he just sees Cobalt and is like, oh, f gross. Okay, all right. Got Especially it. sitting next to Solly is like equally as bad. He's like, he's kind of hey, realizing hey, the hey. company she keeps. Ah, uh, hey, what, hey, hey, what the fuck hey, ever. Hey, fuck hey, this guy. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm keeping my eyes on his ass the entire fucking yep. meeting. Okay. Uh, Remy, roll an insight oh, on Regus Cade. Oh, please. Come on, baby. Oh, it's a oh. He grizzled. You can't read. Ragus Kate is looking throughout the room, but you're not able to catch him as you're kind of distracted by the tense feeling Fuck. and the sound of shuffling around you. I'm so sorry. Your brain is spinning at the sheer stress in this room. Greckles. Insight, new girl. 17. Nice. She is plucky and young. Um, and the moment she sees kobolds and tieflings and drow, her face immediately shifts to like, oh, geez, like kind of fear and concern. But she stands firm at the side of Ragus Kate and Viantius Epistrophe, Mace at her side. Does she uh, does she ever catch eyes with me? Um, no, she's looking more okay. at the more like seriously like threatening quote unquote individuals in the room. Um, Tass, she does look at you. Um uh, like and just looks very like off put. Uh, Borky, roll an insight on Icarus. Mm. Eleven. Eleven. There's something off about him. There's something that chews at you, but you don't know what it is. Something about him is he moves like a human. He looks like a human. And maybe he is human, but there's some part of him that's broken or twisted that chews at you. What does his helmet look like? His helmet looks like Solly's helmet, but way more intricate, way more up-to-date. It looks like Rayfire's armor, but okay. more, like, polished. There's just more to it more iconography, more parts that attach, just more. Okay. Task. Okay. Who are you wanting to insight? Oh, you wanted to insight Solly. 
Yeah. Go ahead and roll insight on solid. Ooh. Oh, fuck's sake, eight. But a nat 20 on the other side. Well, she rolled really shit. Uh, Solly looks like she's gonna throw up, but she's keeping it together. You see her hand clutching the hilt of her sword, like, just, like, not really, like, I'm gonna draw it, but more like, I need to hold on to something right now. <sighs> she doesn't see me looking at her at all, I guess. No, she's, her eyes are set on Icarus right now. Oh, great. All right. You watch as Burke Bronze Fang stands up and goes, Welcome to the city of Alavast. We hope that your docking was easy. You watch as Viantia steps up and goes, Yes, it was rather comfortable, albeit I couldn't help but feel eyes on our persons during our docking. And there's kind of a hush sort of look between people. And Isla kind of speaks up and goes, Many people of the city are curious when... Interesting things happen. This place is rather common with interesting things. Is that so? Well, she. we shall leave the pleasantries on the table for now. Let us talk in politics and business. He kind of steps up and walks past the plinth where he's supposed to talk and just like moves around the space as if it's his own. This city has committed many crimes against Periton. Kidnapping, he turns towards Celiandris. Violence, and he looks towards the rest. Hiding criminals from us. Espionage, to name a few. So I imagine you can believe that our assessment of this location is not particularly good. You watch as Balfour Balton, who you've never seen Sirius before, leans up Sirius and goes, Could you, my good sir, explain to us in what ways we could patch this discomfort, reasonable if otherwise? Viantius turns. We've already made those asks, and they were denied. Lady Saliandris, our pride and joy, has been taken from us and withheld. Isn't that right, Saliandris? Cocked. Saliandris remains quiet. She does not speak. So we've come with an option for this city. To our knowledge, unless in the less than a few hours we've docked here, things have changed, this city flies no flag of any country and is an independent city of its own. For this, he kind of points over and you watch as Regis Cade pulls out a very large, intricate, very beautiful, almost silken scroll. Uh, which he lets loose and it opens up with a wax seal at the bottom. Um, I'm going to say, uh, Remy, because you're a noble background, go ahead and roll a knowledge history, I'm going to say. Oh, the save on this is going to be very low for you because you would know exactly what this is. How the nat 20 do you? Oh! Yeah. Natural 20. That is a city reclamation. It is something... <laughs> you've seen before. Uh, Altmer's used it before. It essentially is a formal piece of document that can be signed by a nation to subsequently release that nation to another country. <clears throat> oh. Yep. Uh, can I make a motion to the guys like, that's bad news. You just kind of turn and give them a very serious look as you're not able to speak. Yeah. Uh, can I write anything down? Nope. Fuck. All right. Viantius looks up. This is a reclamation for the city of Alavast. Too long we've seen it bumbling around and walking into walls like a toddler that hasn't learned its legs. Seeing it as how you've been unwilling to work with us, perhaps it is time for us to work for you. Release the city to the control of Periton and its people. 
And we can make this place better for not only Orin, but for the world. There's a rumbled silence where people begin to mutter with each other. You may whisper to each other at this point if you wish. Panic. Yeah. Soli has not spoken. Can you tell if they're trying to manipulate her at all? I don't know. I can't tell. Hey, Grecos. What, Parky? These guys suck. Yeah, no kidding. Hmm. Everyone make their insight checks on each individual again. Okay. I could use another nat 20 roll. Five. I'll give 20, up all of my Saturday rolls. Oh Just let me God, get this. Nine. Well, 24, 22, 21. Thank you. Hey, Let's go, Remy. 21. Nice. Home. All right. Panic. Viantius hmm. is not interested in the city of Alavast, nor is he interested in Saliandris. There is something else he's interested in, but you don't know what are, it is. We know exactly. Are his, are his eyes like looking off into the middle distance, or is he looking at something specific? He's looking at the council as it is. Like he is, he's currently like engaged with the council, pointing towards the reclamation. Just the way he said oh. it was not fully convincing. He wants that, the city, but he doesn't want the city. That dirty bastard. I know what he fucking. We all know he wants the attic. We, well, we assume, but we don't know for sure if there's something that we, even we don't know about. But yes, Maybe that's a good watch assumption. Watch the crawl space. Remy. <laughs> yes. Regis Cade is looking at Solly quite frequently. Mm -hmm. He is not magically inclined, you can tell. But he looks disappointed, but also heartbroken in a weird way. Good to know. Greckles. The new girl, same reading, um, unfortunately. She does not look like she knows exactly what's going on, and she's literally there to look pretty. That, oh, that's I, what I you're would, able to get. No, I, I wouldn't expect her to know jack about anything going on, because it's very likely that a lot of them don't know what's going on. Yeah, she seems very shocked at the sudden proposal that is being placed ahead, but she's not showing that because she's not there to do that. Right. She's being, she's being very well-behaved, almost forcing herself to be well-behaved. Uh, task, you can't get a good read on Solly. She just looks a bit of a mess. Uh, Borky. That Icarus guy has not moved once. He is yeah, stone he's up, still. He's up to something. Uh, Brooke and the council kind of all reconvene and they go, Reclamation, you want this city to fly under the banner of Periton? And Viantius nods. And uh, Lady Isla chimes in and goes, this would require a decent amount of conversation, as it has been seen interested by both Alton Region as well as Tracadia to be an offset of so such countries, seeing as how the individuals that occupy the city are from those places. You watch as Viante Sapistry turns, as well as the Underdark and other cesspools where demons and devils congregate. Shall you fly their flag here as well? There's like a stiffness to the air. It does not ease this mind to see Lady Soliandris, one of our Azamar champions, sitting next to kobolds and whatever that thing is, he jabs a finger towards Jerry. <laughs> he's smiling. Yeah. Oh, Jerry. please. We're so gosh darn happy to be here. <laughs> Jerry looks flat faced. He's got like a wide gate mouth. Whoa. He's smiling. And he oh, looks no. serious time. Oh, he looks serious, Jerry. Serious. Yeah, he's Jerry's serious. Jerry's not fucking around. Um, oh, notably. Oh, smile ghost, Jerry. I gotta look this up, because he'll be a certain color depending on his emotion. Uh... Hello. <laughs> it's good to see everyone here. <gasps> Homie, Hello. welcome to die. Reaches for his Hello. sword and just can't pull it out. Time is money, friend. Ah, ah, it seems my sword is stuck. I've got what you need. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, well. Jerry is glowing red. Oh, 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 oh. oh you, uh, you done fucked oh, up. Oh, 
fuck! Its burning grip tells him to defeat them. Solid reference. Uh, Isla looks down and turns. That being said, it is of our mind that your intentions are not on the city, nor on Lady Saliandris anymore. That much is very clear. You cannot help but feel the room go a few degrees colder oh, as fuck. Lady Isla stiffens in seriousness. Not something you see very often. Oh, fuck. I've seen it before. You have. It's scary. Mm. You watch as uh, Regis Kate kind of drops down the reclamation. Your assessment would be correct, my lady. I have heard of Lady Isla of the Hoketh clergy, and I've heard of your great wisdom. So it is of no surprise to me that you would be aware of my intentions. But I must say, and he turns around to everybody, for you to harbor what is here is truly of a great concern, not only to Periton, but for the well-being of the world. And they all kind of look around. Do not act innocent. You are all very aware, except for perhaps him. And he points towards like the new Alman clergy guy who looks very lost. What? And mm. some other lesser minds that occupy these halls. And he looks towards, um, he looks towards uh, Azra Sahar uh, and Pilchard. For you see, what sits above your city is not an icon of hope or glory. We have seen visions of its terror, of what it is truly <clears throat> capable of doing. What sits above your city is a god eater. Panic and task, you feel a twist inside of your being. I was about to ask. Uh, mm -hmm. If you do not sign this reclamation today and let us oust this destructive being then we will have to take matters into our whole own hands. Azo Sahar chimes in. Please, by all means, show us what the United Clergy of Oren is capable of. And everyone immediately stiffens and turns towards her. Oh, fuck's sake, Grandma. Oh, boy. You wish to see our might. No, I have seen it. I have seen it when you attempted to reclaim Ruba. And I saw it fail. You could not take down the black chains. What makes you think you can take down a creature of this substantial power? Regis K kind of turns towards Viantius and Viantius kind of turns towards Icarus and Icarus steps forward. We go to the root. We kill where it is tethered. and peace be restored. His voice is heavenly, but hauntingly so. Saliandra steps up. She stands here. And she walks down the stairs. And she steps in front of Icarus, and she dwarfs in comparison to him. Him in his polished armor, tall helmet, and four swords flanking either side. Solly with her one sword. Her very nice armor made by Haminar. She stands in front of him. And she begins to speak in Celestial. Does anybody speak Celestial? I'm nope. gonna... Can, oh, could, I can I cast could I shadow cast... Could I, should I shadow cast tongues? Yeah, uh, both what are the components off. for those spells? Double Vocal and material. Ooh. You can attend to with a stealth check. Oh, God. Really? Fuck. <sighs> what, what, are, what are the components for comprehend languages? The material uh, components do not matter. It's the verbal component. If there's a verbal component, you have to roll a stealth check to, to shadow cast it. Oh, God, Compre really comprehend has vocal and somatic. Yeah. Okay. So you'll you will have to do 
stealth checks, both of you guys. Uh, got no it. disadvantage for you, Remy, because it's not with, because of your armor. It's just you're trying to got keep it. your voice down. Yeah. Got it. Um, here's my question. If Panic and Remy had the exact same idea, can one help the other? I'm going to say no, because you aren't communicating with each other. All right. Oh, well, hang on. Uh, how big is this chamber? Very big. Could I possibly go to the edge of it? Hang on. Uh, I'm not going to stand up. Yeah, I'm if you stand up, everyone's going to notice. I'm going to cast Mislead. Oh, shit. Somatic Ooh. components only. Okay. Uh, a illusory double of me is sitting exactly where I am in the exact same pose. Nothing has changed at all. And okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, and my actual self turns invisible. Okay. I am going to cheese it over to a far quiet end of the corner where the acoustics are shit. And I will cast tongues and then come back. Okay. That's, the, I'll let that happen. That's wild. That's amazing. Does Remy know that that happened? No, nope, Tongue... no one notices. <laughs> Tongues isn't concentration either, so. So you're on the other side of the room. All right. Yeah. Remy, are you gonna... <laughs> Here's the problem. If he doesn't know that Panic just did that, he would want to. Oh. I'll if if we both wanted to exchange a glance real quick. That's I'll, all I'll it give would him, need to be. I'll I'll give him a wink. Then he's not going to cast anything. Okay. Panic. You missed the first yep. word because Solly oh. said it before you even knew she was speaking Celestial. Okay. You see her walk in front of Icarus and goes, her voice is so shaky. Icarus, listen to me. It's not right. You have to understand there's something wrong. The speaker, something's happened to the speaker. And Icarus turned down and goes, the speaker is fine. What concerns him is his ailment. You are his ailment. And you see her kind of shrink in place. Listen to me. The speaker isn't talking to Oren. He can't be. You all hear Amelia as Icarus yells out, insolent heretic. He turns down to Sully. You've lost your way. And she kind of stiffens. She goes, no, I found my way. The speaker is wrong. I found the true speaker. He's here. He's under the earth, and he's found a piece of Orin. It's impossible to read Icarus as he looks down towards Sally Andrew. She's giving a lot away. <laughs> she really is, but she's trying to... Oh, use that D10, bitch. <laughs> you would stand before me and tell me that the speaker of Orin is some creature who exists in the darkness that knocked so covets. Uh, he pulls out his sword and he points it towards Grekel's. 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 Mm -hmm. Just right at attention, just, just like kind of brace to get up to move. 30. Thir oh, what? to hit? To hit. Oh, what? I mean, that is, that is what it is. I'll I'll have the damage as a reaction, if I can. It's gonna be plus. Oh God, he has plus. Oh. It's gonna be six plus. Take fourteen points of piercing damage. What the fuck is that? Um, is that before or after it's halved? That's before it's halved. So did you just seven? stab him. What did he do? Yeah. Um, he pulled out his sword and he like he doesn't stab you all the way through, but he gets you right in the chest. He was mm. going to point his blade at Solly, but you managed to jump in right in time. And immediately, everybody around, like, in the council, Brooke has his sword out. Isla has the scythe out of nowhere. Balfour Belton has twin blades. Hammernar has a rapier. Edward and Robzo is coalescing shadows in his hand. And every other member of the council is now armed to the fucking teeth. And yeah, so do... I, I summon Likewise. Catharsis. He yeah, immediately summon Sword and Shield. Fucking summon, summon Aos. Borky holds holds up gripples like a grenade. <laughs> hey, no, hey, no. Hey, hey, with, hey, with a fucking beak in his teeth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ic Icarus sees the brand new Orin holy symbol around Grekel's neck and the sun blade in his hand. 
you hold on to them both in front of you and you feel the feeling of his blade just pull out of you. You see Sally go, Greckles, are you okay? It's fine. Don't worry about it. She looks back up. Icarus, please listen to me. Death is not here. Death is back home. Everything we know is wrong. Um, how far away am I from Fiantius? Uh, from your position teleporting across, you're probably about 20 feet away from him. Okay. This is good. a big chamber. Fiantius apostrophe. Crackles? Just, just... Crackles? No, Crackles is gonna scream out. No one do anything! And he sits there just bleeding. He's got his hands back trying to protect Sully. Icarus is head moves around the crowd. I'm going to say panic and task. Roll an insight check. 20. Oh, good roll. Um, 14. Well, considering you're not, not you, Borky, you're not there. This no, is just oh, for panic oh, and task. Oh, okay. uh, this makes sense because panic, you're on the other side of the room. You don't really see Icarus's face task when he sees that porcelain bow you can feel in his being something concluded Icarus sheathes his blade and he turns to Viantius the reclamation has been denied we shall make our leave of you and Viantius is like I I Icarus we shall make our leave by the speaker's orders. And Viantius nods. He very strangely seems off-put suddenly. Mm. Is, he looking sub is he looking subservient to Icarus? Oh, yeah, he is. Mm. Uh-oh, it's starting to click. As they go to leave, Ragus Cade stays in his place and turns up and goes, We shall leave tomorrow morning. And they leave the room. Are they are they gone, gone? Gone, gone. Immediately the air in the room just <sighs> deflates. Solly immediately heals you, Greckles. Okay. Task immediately, just like the loudest Fuck bangs his fists on the table. I I pop Damn out of it. my invisibility. I pop out of my invisibility like halfway in between Greckles and this place where I was, just like uh <laughs> You get healed for twelve. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm back up. Are you okay, Sully? I'm fine. I'm fine. You shouldn't have done that. I told you I wasn't going to leave your side. You could have been killed. It would be a death worth having. I couldn't live with myself. And I couldn't live with myself seeing something happen to you. Everybody in the room goes quiet. And Brork cups his hands together. This means war. Hmm. We knew that. I mutter something to Eos. He saw right through us. They, 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 they know something that we actually don't. They, 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 they know something about us. All, 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 all of us. Panic, you hear. Mm. Dust drifting directionless divine. I felt you stirring around inside me. What's going on? Both of you are filled with feelings of confusion. I look over Sally. Solly, stay, Burke says. Council members, stay. The rest of you leave. Crackles, yes, sir. If, if I might, I think myself and Task have some unique insight. If we might stay, I think you should let us. We will Is discuss it another time. Greckles will will take Sully's hand and just give it just a very soft squeeze. We'll be here when you need us. And he's just gonna start heading out 
doing what I stole. You watch as she bites the bottom of her lip and just tears begin to well up. I can't do it, Greckles. I can't fight my own people. Not Oof. like this. He he will turn back to embrace her. We'll find she, a She hugs you back tightly, like just squeezing really tight. We'll find a way. We'll make this work. She lets go. Keep us posted, and we're ready when you need us. As Sally steps towards the council, you watch as her shadow coalesces back into Quarion. Gotcha. Oh, nice. <laughs> you watch as he sheathes both of his knives, and he looks towards you, Greckles, and nods. Nods back. You beat him to it. <sighs> no, nice. one's touch no one's touching her. You guys all make your way outside. Wait, they... They, they don't they want to do speak that. to you right now. They, they have more that. pressing matters to deal with right now. Tass doesn't move the moment they walk outside the door and just looks at the floor. Panic, we're dead. They want us now. We're not dead, though. They have to kill us first. What, they know something. Going? They... They know something. They know something about this, and he holds up catharsis, and that, and he and he slaps the the shoulder piece of of uh, um, epic. Yep. They know what these are. But you've spoken to yours as well, haven't you? They don't know. They're just as confused as we are. Are you guys still in the council room? You guys are outside at this point. No, station? no, we're outside. Oh, we're out. Yeah. Jerry floats up to you both. See anyone armed with porcelain weapons and know that the end times come if action is not taken. Is that what they were thinking? The one in the helmet, yeah! Oh, right. They don't know what you are. Jerry can read minds. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, bless you, Jerry! I fucking... Yeah, exactly. I forgot about that. What else did you hear into their head? Jerry is psycho. That's the only way he can communicate is through thoughts. Wait a second. I, I, asked, a second. I, I asked him what else did he peer. They aren't here for anything. They're scouting things out. Specifically, they were looking for weapons. And they showed what they it were to looking them. for. Out of everything, though, they're very scared. All of them. They're scared because the thing that is talking to them is scared. Whatever is imitating the speaker knows what those two things are, at least. If it's afraid of a god eater, then whatever's talking to them is a god. But not the god they think it is. They're not the only How? ones to learn something. Who else? What, what was the exact wording of what you said, uh, Jerry? What? The exact wording of what you said. What was it? Of what? When you look the into their helmet, mind, helmet what guy, the, helmet guy, what, what is he thinking? Yes. He was looking for porcelain weapons. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, boy. So when Lady Solly Andrews started talking to him, he thought, this is a way to see the weapons. And then when he saw them, there is this old voice in his brain that said, if you see those with porcelain weapons, know that the end times are coming if we do nothing about it. Wait, old voice? Yeah, like an old guy. Like a memory. But not, not Icarus's voice. Nope. That's peculiar. It's probably, based on your guys' knowledge, it's probably someone well, told him something, and well, that's well, his memory of it. Well, 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 you saying that he, vo he hears voices in his head? Maybe? That's crazy. Is it possible that that's the speaker? Hey, 
How, in, uh, in, any of, in any of the legends I've I've read about in all of these holy books that I've studied, is there anything about like old men or old prophets? Oh, there's tons of stories about prophets and like Shit. old men prophets. Mm -hmm. um, Piltrid steps up and nods and he goes, well, the speaker is old. He would be older than me even. Crotchety, arguably. How long do speakers typically live? Or is that based on what they are? Well, the speaker, current speaker is human. So I think he's in like his 80s or 90s now. Hmm. <sighs> How did they know? Like I said, we have no idea what they know. I can Whatever count the speaking, amount. It's not I can count. I could count the amount of people that know what the attic really is on both hands. Which means I would place every scent that I own that whatever is talking to them is the only thing that knows, and they know via it. But what? Hey, Panic. What could know? Yes, Crickles. Do you think it's him? He would know more than anyone, more than anyone he would know. I don't know. This, this problem preceded his arrival, though. Would we know that? Yeah, he's gone. Like, straight up. He got blasted by Oren. Okay. Wait, wait. So, I thought I thought he just ran away. Yeah. He did, but he's he ran away. He can't do anything. He's got to recover. Like, you guys would be able to know that for sure. We, I mean, that's, we that's, know, that's God, we'd man. Know, we'd know still have any influence if we saw it. Oh, yeah. It's clear. It has to be pretty direct, because he's not a god, he's a demigod. Right, okay. All right, yeah. cool. That's scary enough of itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Mach machinations to gods, though, that's... Whew. All right. Panic, right. Panic looks like he's he is scrolling through encyclopedias in his mind. Tash just looks at the fucking bow in his hand. Well, congratulations, Wait. you can kill gods. Panic. Yes. Does this all relate to that mask that all of you have? Looks over at Remy and just slowly nods. There was a point in time where I couldn't understand any of what was being said. Neither could anyone else. But that, there was a change in that. Right. You. I think during the whole Yugoloth incident... The name slipped out and you were able to hear it. On the return trip, I believe, yes. Can anyone else understand you when you speak of it? Hey, Pilcher. Hmm? What does lies mean to you? Lies? Uh, being deceitful? You were still able to hear it, though. No. No. It's I different. Oh fuck! He looks confused. I'm just like okay, shrugs. All right, you well, guys. I'm assuming you guys are walking how about, and talking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How about that weird white noodle in the attic? There's the noodle store in the attic. Okay, he's not hearing. He's not hearing gibberish. <laughs> Which is different. Whenever any of you would speak about it, even in generalities, I wouldn't be able to understand. Something has changed. Hey, Money? Yep. I'm going to stick my hand uh, uh, through my robe and try and feel for the mask. Okay. You feel cold porcelain. Okay. Just want to make sure it's not moving or doing anything weird. No, it's just where it is. Okay. Wait a second. Remind me again. I began hearing it before or after Task began seeing his own, I guess, figure. You saw it before. Hmm. This thing is not a god, if we are to believe what we just heard, but a god eater. But it's also in fragments. What if it is slowly getting more powerful and thus more people are able to understand it? No. I think the opposite of what's happening is what you're saying. It needs the it needs the power to mask its presence. It's slowly losing that power, and more people are finding out about it. Hmm. 
when we spoke about it earlier, it was gibberish. But now Pilchers can hear me perfectly. But why would it want to mask itself? To stay hidden. Think of so it. No one, so no one could use it. Think about what the Yugoloth wanted. But the more people that find out, the harder it is to hide. Exactly. So I Eric. take it this is a secret then, as was a heart kind of chimes in. Extremely. Not it that was. I quite understand what's going on. It's probably for the best. Perhaps if it is weakening, that is how the United Clergy of Orin has found out about it. The only the only secretive being I know of is Ko. I heard when the god dies, Ko is the only one that knows about their existence. That is very dangerous territory you are walking. We're already knee deep in danger. Tash just like fucking rematerializes the bow. A little too late for that. I'm going to go speak with Ragu and Huxley. I'm going to take my leave of you now. She nods her head and she looks towards you, Borky, and goes, Good luck with the cheesery. Good luck with everything you're doing, Miss Saha. And she steps away. Uh, Jerry seems to be fixated on staying near the council door. Panic. Yeah. If there is truly a deity manipulating the clergy that isn't Orin, that the only thing that could stop it is a god eater. It makes sense why it would fear everything that you're exploring. If. There's this feeling of acknowledgement. What he was saying, and I know you heard it because I did. How much of that is true? Destiny detoured, destitute dissolved. Hmm. So probably not much. Uncertainty. Certainty. Uncertain. Hmm. You should start doing that more often. <laughs> uh, I... I have no idea. The... Beings, me and Task both, I guess, they occupy us, or they are a part of us. They're not holy pieces of what that thing is afraid of. So there are still more fragments to make up the rest of this potential god-eater. I would have to imagine. And I imagine. Remy's going to look at both Greckles and Borky. Penny's going to look at Remy. No. I think there was a reason that you could start hearing us when we found well, that Yugoloth's else, journal. Apparently. When we found that Yugoloth's journal. You were there, and you could hear it. You understood every word of it. Perhaps. However, the last time Greckles tried to wear that mask, we saw what happened. It wasn't the first time, Remy. It almost feels like a natural progression. We're finding pieces. 
it's starting off in pain, differently between all of us, and then slowly and surely, we find it. Early pain of wearing the mask is a common symptom. You broke Wait. my bones. We've each had turns with the mask at this point, except for Remy, I believe. I felt loneliness. Task, you felt fear? Confusion and fear, yes. Borky felt pain. And Greckles? Suffocation. Bones. <laughs> mm. Yeah. It's as if we're feeling whatever lies is, or was, or has fragmented into, or whatever it is. We're feeling it. And we don't know why, but there is a reason somewhere. Hmm. Well. If it's a natural progression, then perhaps either you or Borky should continue the progression if you're up to it. I agree. Peace hasn't... Peace is no longer on the table. Right now, the only thing we know the clergy feels is whatever that mask has inside of it. If there are fragments that need to be collected and this is a gateway to it, it seems like your best shot. Their gaze is no longer on Sully Andrews, it's on us now. So you might as well collect assets while you can. Great. Money, money who's still around us? Uh, Pilchard and uh, Quarion. I'm going to keep that quiet then. So we need all the power we can get because they're gunning for us now. They'll probably starve with the city, I can only imagine. Pilchard chimes in. Well, we have raised around that. We'll look we at have Borky. friends. We're living targets. <laughs> We've put a massive dartboard on this city for them to just fire on. It he was watches Kari and looks towards you, Tass, and goes, you're one to talk. It hasn't been the first time. And, and here also, you are. Oh, come on, dude. That was like a that was like a week ago. Give him some fucking time, man. I'm not wrong though. <sighs> not to be tough love, but I'm not wrong. You are not wrong. I don't think we should fight these things. I think these are inevitabilities, whether we can control the fate or not. What? This the... this was going to happen. But now I mean, the, I the, I agreed. Started. You don't have the luxury of waiting to figure it out. It's chosen all of you for a reason. Maybe this is it. Peace can only be an option whenever we root out what is trying to confuse them, lead them astray. We just need to find out what it is. Well... You guys, you guys should get home. Pilcher kind of yeah. nods. Yeah. We're going to stay with Lady Sully Andrews and make sure everything's okay. She's probably not going to be well for the next few days. Yeah. I imagine not. Uh, hey, Remy. Yeah. You guys, I'm going to say walk and talk. You guys are yeah, yeah. Down walk outside, in the, outside uh, down the council steps, making your way down. Yes, Crackles. Do you need to go home tonight? I don't have to. Why? Do you need something? If you don't mind, I wouldn't mind, uh... I wouldn't mind your watchful eye. We need answers, and at this point, I don't care what I have to suffer through to get them. If it happens again... It ha oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, your, your turn. You finish. Whatever happens, happens. I don't care anymore. I will not leave your bedside. You have my word. All right. Money, going to bed with the mask on. Right. Hell, the, hells be damned. You guys walk through the city streets. Oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm fucking keeping an eye out. I don't uh, trust anyone right now. There is nobody outside. I imagine. Yep. The streets are a ghost town. 
hauntingly so vacant. You can see darting eyes behind curtains looking out as you guys make your way throughout the center of town. I'll probably break off. Um, do I know where Helena lives? Uh, she is currently staying. She's no longer in the barracks. I believe she's staying with uh, someone who's related to... Um, oh, God. Uh, what's his name? My brain. Uh, the the Knoll fellow. Um, Arf? Oh. My brain... I can't believe my brain is blanked on his name. His name was amazing. Oh, no. Um, oh, my God. Someone's probably screaming at me in chat Zarf. right now. Zarv, thank yeah. you. Oh my oh, god. I, 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 yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, who? who? Am I like, she's just not being heard? Probably, I'm saying shit. I thought you said Zarv. Yeah, Zarv. Sorry. Um, she's couch surfing, so you don't know where she is right now. She's <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right, I won't. I won't. I won't break off then. I'll. Yeah. I'll probably. Just... You guys, walk through the city streets, and as you do so, you meet with four individuals from the council room standing waiting in front of the sweet dragon just in the street where you're heading you see oh, icarus ragus cade viantius apostrophe and random girl icarus dismounts his horse and steps slowly forward towards you Panic and task, your heart boom, 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 begins to pound in your chest as he takes step after step, crushing mud and rock underfoot. He walks forward, and something suddenly shoots out from the right of the alleyway and stops, probably inches away from the helmet of Icarus oh, no. crashing into the wall. Oh, fuck. A black serrated blade. Huh? Yep. Oh, oh it's um, fucking Tiengo! Oh, Here yeah. he comes! Here he is. You watch as Tiengo walks out from around the corner. And he walks over and just pulls his sword out of the wall. I mouth you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Rock Lesnar's music starts playing. <laughs> he resheaves the serrated blade and looks down towards. Actually, no, he's about the same height. Actually, slightly I shorter. Love... Oh shit! Looks oh, fuck. like he is like inches away from from Icarus. Go ahead and roll a perception check, all of you. All right. Listening. Uh, 20 22 21 8 24 Okay You hear Tiango bite into him I wouldn't if I were you Lest you see Orin's precious flames Consume your people again by my hand <gasps> What? Oh, oh fuck Wow, that line. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Oh, great. Now I'm in love with him. Tiengo <sighs> uh, the Red Death is not associated or affiliated in any way with the Sweet Dragon or the Unaffiliated. <laughs> Icarus. Speak for yourself, he is right now. Icarus takes his blades, turns around, and walks away. And as he remounts his horse, you see Viantis go, Icarus, you cannot stand for it's the Red Death. And they both kind of look stunned and look towards Tiengo. And they just kick their horses and they gallop away. Have a nice trip! What just happened? Tiengo stops and turns towards the, f the five of you. So... Well, you know what happened there, uh, Remy? I you bet you were watching. Tango went and got himself free drinks for life. He doesn't look pleased. Insight? Yeah, I was about to say, can we do another yeah. insight for a new one? Go, go ahead, yeah, insight. I'm not Real looking insight. at them. I'm looking at the horses and seeing which direction they actually go. Oh, They're heading towards the docks. Good job, Panic. Bless you. 
Oh. All right, I guess. Work. 16. 16. Eight. Eight. Panic and task. Task, you can actually relate to this. There is an old fury that is bubbling at his core. He turns down the alleyway without another word and takes his leave of you. You guys head home, quietly get drinks. There are so many people inside your tavern right now from the streets that are just hanging out. Mm -hmm. um, you guys take your drinks up to a private part of the warehouse and sit down. Actually, the garden would probably be best. You guys head up to the garden and sit down, calm your nerves. And with the uncertainty of tomorrow chewing away at you, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Boy. All right, oh, bye, boy. Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye. Oh, it was a four long. hour session oh, tonight. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, I went so no, no. Long. Oh, what we... oh, go ahead. Uh, what, what episode is this? 138. Uh, 38, yeah. Holy shit, we're almost closing in on 150. So, Monty, can I just say, for somebody who doesn't write politics and intrigue a lot because they don't like it, this was a phenomenal session. Like, the tension and the negotiation, and, it, like, that was I think phenomenal. It's worth I think it's worth mentioning that while you guys are on missions, it's not just your allies that are doing stuff behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. And, absolutely, like, saying, yeah. I didn't did, expect you, anything less. You did a really good job, so well done. Like, major props to you. Yeah, I'm, ten I'm tense right now. I need a bath. I'm, like, super Hell tense yeah. right now. Because I'm not I even, like, playing, but I'm like, oh, God, I'm nervous for my own game right well, now for Monty every side involved. But, Monty, where can they find you, though? Uh, you can find me uh, at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow's going to be Devil May Cry at 7 o'clock. Um, <laughs> So check it out. Uh, Seven o'clock is going to be Devil May Cry. I'm hoping to finish the game. Um, and then uh, on Sunday, we're playing uh, Final Fantasy IX, which is pretty fun. Where you can find me as a Moogle, because I'm a Moogle, apparently. Um, it's really, really fun. If you like good story, definitely come and check that out. I'll be uploading the first part to YouTube probably tonight or tomorrow night. Um, so you can catch it then. Um, and then on top of that, kind of a fun personal thing, I'm actually in the works of getting a really cool mask. So maybe, maybe, maybe webcam streams with, with mask, but, oh, uh, mm. yeah, I'm, 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 man, man, Azra was pissed. I just, I can't even I begin to her. tell you how pissed Azra was being in that room. Mm -hmm. The like, United Orange Clergy has hurt a lot of people in that room. I want to say there's a lot of level 20s in that room that were really ready <laughs> to pull their blades. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. You ever, seen a, you ever seen a boss fight in WoW? We're about to see a lot of AoE go off, guys. So everyone turn down your color saturation. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Muradin shows up. I feel Azor's pin. Uh, <laughs> that's great. No. Hey, Connor, where can they feel your kind of content? Uh, well, they can feel my pin over at twitch.tv slash distortion devil, where you can level up your Azerite. <laughs> uh, when you're not leveling up your Azerite, uh, I will say once more, uh, I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but that's not the point this month, because this month we're doing something special. Myself, twitch.tv slash varic underscore Kaldun, twitch.tv slash sailor midgard, twitch.tv slash faceless Mike. Twitch.tv slash Calypso694 and Twitch.tv slash Gaia Green are all doing a September subscriber Dead House Sonata Founders Pack giveaway. For every 15 subscribers, each of these Twitch channels I just mentioned gets, we'll be giving away one Founders Pack for free to all of our subscribers or to one of our subscribers at the end of the month. And there is no, there is no cap for this. There's no cap for the Dead House Sonata Founders Pack giveaway. If you, if 220 yeah. subscribers, 220 <laughs> subscribers show up to each of our streams, that'll be a, that'll be a grand total of like 55 Founders Packs that sh that are free to be given away. You can play this game. I tell you what. Sorry, I want. God damn it! That was my pig. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to put some uplifting music on because it's been a very tense episode, and I figured that'd be nice. So, <laughs> so check out each of those streams. Uh, give them subscribers. Uh, because one, they're nice. Two, you can get yourself entered into a contest for a free founder, founders pack for Dead House Sonata. 
And three, they're 20% off till the end of the month. So, boom. Yeah. That's not true. No. Oh, the subs are. Founders Sub, packs. Subs. Yeah, yeah, subs. But if you did want to purchase a Founders pack, you can go ahead and follow that link right there. It's extra special. I'll get a portion of the proceeds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, having st having stupid fucking like musical instruments on my desk is so worth it. I love you, Zito. Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of Zito that we all love, where can they find you, bud? You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, CZ Backlash on Twitter and Everingan Almanac on Patreon, where this month I'm going to try and push the Patreon to be more of an encompassing umbrella of creative shit that I do outside of just being D&D &D alone. So there's going to be some, you know, restructuring, but there's going to probably be more tiers and maybe commissions might be a thing on said tiers, but you'll just have to check that out on uh, on my social media to figure that out. Uh, I don't know what the schedule is going to be going forward for the rest of the week until Saturday because I have to get some, uh, I got to get some work done before Friday for something else. But Saturday... Oh boy, Sage 2020 drops, and I'm fucking pirate radio styling, playing as many games as I possibly can. It's going to be a long stream. There's going to be a lot of indie games. Sonic will be involved. You know, the Sankey, the thing I've been fucking Sankey. on. All the, I've been on fucking raving lunatic mode for the past month and a half on. And that's me. <laughs> Gaijin Goomba, I, I believe. I believe that is your professional name. Where can they find you? Oh, man, you found me. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh, Saturday, if you're, if, you know, if, if if you don't want to do Zito's thing, it's my birthday. I'm doing <laughs> what? my birthday stream. Yeah, I'm oh, make me feel happy fucking birthday. guilty and shit. I've been waiting you for this. <laughs> okay, uh, so well, well, can, I, can I attend the, the Zito guilt stream? Oh, absolutely. You awesome. Know, Where can they at, find at, that? You at, fuck. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba at uh, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Might be starting a little bit earlier. I don't know what I'm going to play. It's just going to be a mixed jumble. It might what? actually just be like sitting around and talking. Do you want know to? I played for my fucking birthday stream, dude. So. I woke up and just booted up Dawn of War. Like, you just do fucking play whatever you want. It's your birthday. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm dude. feeling. I'm, I'm also going to be taking a week off of video production. So I'm still streaming, but videos, I'm just not going to work on anything for a solid week. And I mean it this time because last time I got dragged into it. Um, I'm to be doing a lot of restructuring, a lot of thinking. I'm going to be working on a lot of like brainstorming for new projects. There's a lot that I want to do. And I tell you what, doing 20 minute highly edited videos once a week, I want to die. So let's not want to die anymore. <laughs> I I am Edward Bosco and I approve this message. Uh, Bosco, yeah, where can they find on. you? I wasn't done. He wasn't okay. done. He's Why not? Out, because I have to plug my new video that is coming out tomorrow. Oh, it's a, Jesus Christ. it's a big <laughs> one. It's why Ghost of Tsushima is the best Japanese game fucking ever. And yeah, oh, fight shit. me on it. Oh, those, I'll prove you wrong. No, no, no. The best Japanese fucking game was Neko Park. Got him. I was there, and you are one hundred percent dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> I was there, Taka. I saw the battlefield. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, bitch, I, I lived it first. I gotta vacuum Blue up that bad though. opinion. Hang on. Zito, you up. fought Zito, you fought the scrimmish. I'm fighting the core. How the world. fuck there? <laughs> gotta vacuum up that bad opinion real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Ah, <laughs> uh, you picked up Zito's uh, harmonica. Put that down, dude. Oh god. Hey, Bosco, where can they find you? They can find me at twist.tv slash Edward Bosco, where I stream on days during the week. Uh, they can find me at Ed Bosco VA on uh, Instagram and Twitter. It's my name on Twitch, just Edward Bosco. You know, it's wrestling on Fridays. It's Halo. It's Fall Guys, where Wubs is officially a thing. It's a wolf pigeon, and I've named him Wubs, and he is the best, and you should come support him because he needs your help to get a fucking crown. Fuck that game sometimes. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this weekend, I'm hopefully going to be doing a stream for uh, Hurricane Laura Relief for uh, all the communities that were impacted by the hurricane. And then September 17th, the day the G1 aired in America, Transformers. Ooh. We're going to be doing a stream with some voice actors watching the new show. You should come check that out and listen to us talk about all the different 
Transformer shows that we liked growing up and what we thought of the new show and all that cool stuff. So, yeah, check it out. Stay tuned. <laughs> Watch this face. Son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, Kurt. Yeah. Where can they find you? Oh, in a state of disbelief. <laughs> nice. But what now, about you'll you find me over at twitch.tv slash Tamahaka101, where you Tomahawka. can... You, <laughs> <laughs> Where you you can witness such things as Mike the the, the caucasity of my being. Fuck you, know. There are many people out there who are white, and I am one of them, guys. Check me out over. Uh, I play City Skylines, where I build a city. Uh, I also play Sea of Thieves, where we steal shit. I play yeah, Fall Guys, where I torture myself slowly, like splitting my like bones in we half. We should play together. We should play Why? together. Why? There's no you don't play that game. You fucking survive it. Yes, you do. I'd like to survive it just once. Okay, but just so you know, I gotta play the MXC theme every time the game starts. That's fine. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's that's fair. Uh as well, you uh tomorrow we got the multiverse Nexus Wrestling, our story driven RNG inspired wrestling show. Ooh. It's a fun show tomorrow. We yeah. have Oh, hell yeah. We got title matches. We got number one tournament contenderships. Arc. Tournament arc. Exactly. A tournament arc is hitting the finals the week after next. So that's oh, wow. always my favorite. As well, in the future, there will be a new up-to-date schedule on my channel. And Tuesday, starting at 12 o'clock, I've decided to join, jump into the Alan Wakeiverse. Oh, no. Where you play as jo uh, as, as Alan Haka, Wake. Haka. Oh, the Wakeiverse. The way, the, yeah, you're right. The Wokeiverse, because, because, wait. <laughs> yeah, no, that works. The Wakeiverse is uh, strong, and you can meet Barry the Manager and a bunch of other characters that were completely ripped off from Twin Peaks. But, guys, not only that. <laughs> no, that is about it, though. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's on Tuesdays. But, guys, anyways, I think that's, um, <laughs> Raptor what Voice. Are we, Alan. What are we naming Alan. this episode, by the way? So, there was a really good I one thought, that I saw. I have, I have to give credit to PM Ghost. He said high stakes, but spelled S T E A K S. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you had another one, Connor. I saw I saw someone say orange light and the red shadow. Mm. That's fucking banjo music. Sorry. <laughs> It's your natural <laughs> habitat, Vito. It's called uh, Corn I, I know, Cob. I know somebody else. Uh, <laughs> uh, too uh, fast. While you guys are studying some... that, can I read off? Can I read off some bits here? Yeah. yeah also, let's, 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 let's figure that one. out first because yeah, I really sun, need to know. Sun, sunrise, sunset. Too close to the sun, sunrise. Um, <laughs> oh, too close steak. to the sun too because close to the sun is good. Yeah, too close to the sun is really good. Flipping my wings to make me tame. No, it doesn't work. No, but fucking damn it. <laughs> Flying. What the hell, Seamus? Too close Monty. to the sun is pretty good. Too close to the sun? Done. I think too close to the sun is pretty good, yeah. We'll yeah. Do that one. yeah. All right. Don't worry, Kurt. It's okay. It's All right, okay. Kurt, now you go. Wee! Probate with a thousand bits on top of oh, his already incredibly kind 111,000 bits in combined total, my God. Jesus. And it must feel like that if we drop everything and speed collecting lies fragments that the UOC war is still a long ways off, question mark? Starting a conversation in the chat. We don't know. Apoly, Absol, thank you for those uh, bits. Serotone, thank you for the bits. Arc Requiem D with 2,000 bits. Thank you guys for the entertaining. This will be the last time I can watch the Unexpected live for a while. Starting next week, I have back to work for my hours completely with watching you live. It was about to watching the VODs for me. You guys have given me something to look forward to every Wednesday since March. Thank you all very much. Thank you so much, Work Requiem D. Kurt X with a thousand bits. Types of title peace talks? Question mark. Uh, King Knight Owl. Uh, Low Nexus Twenty One. Pseudonym Ninety Two. T Chaos. The Kaleidoscape. Thank you guys so much for the uh, subs. Uh, Venomaru Karos Corwin with a thousand mm -hmm. bits. Criminy Christmas. Django just saved the party from a gank. Isn't it great when the level 60 shows up to help with the level 30s? It's my favorite part. Of like, wow. <laughs> a thousand bits, so You can absolutely guarantee we're not going to get commendations, though, and we're going to get fucking kicked off the game. Damn it. SpongeBob yeah. is anime. Thank you for the five-month resub. Uh, Mr. Inktail with the five-month resub. This the best session yet. So heavy. I love the relationship between Azra and Borky. Uh, Azra and Borky are developing. Oh, yeah. It's, it's this odd respect you wouldn't have expected. Plata 64. Uh, X Chance, thank you so much. Uh, Mexican Skydiver, thank you as well. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's really it from me. Alrighty.
You know who I really want to raid? Who do you want to raid? Who do you want to raid? Who do you want to raid? I want to raid, raid? raid Octopimp because Bosco's well, impression he well, of... He's playing well, Mario, Super Mario 64. Oh, my God. Um, okay, so... so go ahead, Kurt. What were you going to say? Just everyone just go in there and start spamming oof. I mean, oof. Oh, I, I was gonna ask Monty, I, I, I did want to ask if we could read one person in particular. Two okay. both, two. Both of my roommates are streaming. They're streaming Subnautica, and one of them is terrified of the deep dark, and it's Ooh, hysterical. That's so good. So I'm cool with, with raiding Octopimp, but I wanted to throw that on the table. I kind of I kind of really want to raid Octopimp. Go for it. Let's Go yeah. for it. Octopimp. It's your call. I really we haven't done it in a while and thinking about him and i like octo so he got me to play rainy shady he's a he's a good egg zito oh, thanks dudes zito you what? fall you fallen no i didn't i, I click I all click right our raid our, our raid our raid message dude, will be dude, we need a raid message man it will oof. be shot this freaking me out all right we're raiding the message will be oof oof, oof. oh yeah Oh, oh, boy, guys! Is he playing his granddad? Oh, come on. Uh, 